Hi, and welcome along to the Don Robbie channel. We are here for our latest watch along. And uh, the game today is a huge game. Huge. Massive. 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 Biggest one of the biggest one, one of the Biggest game of the tournament so far. Russia versus Finland. It's actually a local derby in a way. Yeah. Russia mm. versus Finland. Finland's on borders Russia, aren't it? I don't know. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, I've been oh, in Finland, though. Yeah, fin Russia it's, is huge. There's, parts, there's a part of Russia when I went to the World Cup. And there was one part, one game, that's really, they said that used to be part of Finland. Oh, really? Uh, that was played, yeah, yeah. So it borders, I, I know this, listen. There you go, I know this, right? So That's it's a bit, of a bit of a local derby. Uh, joining me for the watch along today, we've got Nicky Hawkins from West End Fam TV. Uh, good to have you here, bro. Thanks for coming. Um, he's me. just been delighting on uh, what he saw of the fixture list. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah, yeah. For West Ham, so you're off to a good start, you reckon? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we've got a good chance. We've got a good chance. Yeah. Newcastle away first one, which yeah. we've got a few plans and first that. First three games, what's your first three games? We've got Newcastle. No, you put me on the spot. <laughs> oh, <that's cool>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check it out, right? <laughs> we've well, got Newcastle away first game, right. And we're joined by Alex, of course, from the Cop TV, big Liverpool fan, as we know. Oh, what's your, do you know your first three games? Yeah, so first game, Norwich away, and then oh, Burnley at home, and then Chelsea away, I think. That's a decent start. And then I think it's Leeds, Palace, and then someone else. So we've got oh, New yeah. Newcastle, Leicester at home, and then Palace at home. I see. Look, that. Our start... Yours is the worst. Our easily. start is tough. If yeah. you lose four of those first six, he's got to go. Brentford at home. No, Brentford away, sorry. Tough Newly game, promoted that. team. Fans. They'll be pumped up. New stadium. Yeah. Followed by Chelsea at home. Followed by Man City away. That's a hard start. That's a hard start. Um, let's go through the teams for the game today. It's Finland, of course, taking on Russia. Finland, of course, who are sitting on three points. Remember, they, you yeah. know, they won that game, the, 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 the game that we saw um, against Denmark. Um, do you want to do the team? Yes, I will, uh, <laughs> if I can find it. Are you better than me, Alex. Here, 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 here. here go, go for that. I know you're good on the pronunciations. I'll so, have the iPad. Right. Yeah, we'll swap right. over. So, um, in goal, then, for Finland is Hradeki. Um, I'm trying to get some info about him. He's Bayer Leverkusen's goalkeeper, 31. Uh, I think we might have seen a bit of him in the first game. He was decent. And then uh, Juna Toivio from BK Hakan. Again, 33 years old. Not the oldest backline so far. Paulus Ajuruji from KKS Lesh Poznan. Heard of them in the Europa League back in the day. He's 33 as well. He's styling it. Yeah, go uh, Daniel O'Shaughnessy from HJK. He's a very Irish sounding name, that, for a yeah. Finnish person. At HJK, he's at. And then out right wing back, you've got Juka Raitala from Minnesota United. They've got a few players from Minnesota, if I remember right. Uh, Rasmus Schuller in the middle from Jungarden. Uh, with Glenn Camera, obviously we know him from yep, Rangers. Yeah, know him, ex-Arsenal player. Game. Yeah, ex-Arsenal player, of course, and uh, now at Glasgow Rangers. There you go, Stevie G loves a bit of the old camera. Uh, Jere Euronen from Genk is on the left side, and then up top you've got Robin Lodd from Minnesota, uh, followed by Joel Panjanpolo from FC Union Berlin, and then the last one, as we all know, from Norwich City, no Pookie. Pookie, no party. It's Timo no Pookie. No Pookie, no party. You're right, Russian uh, team. And then let's get into Russia then. We know a few more names. I'm impressed Sofanov. by these pronunciations, man. Yeah, oh, that's come good. Come on, G. Isn't it? Yeah, All right. Uh, Matvi Sofonov from Krasnodar from Russia in goal. He's only 22. Uh, Mario Fernandez at CSK in Moscow. He's the right back. That's a real sad Russian name. Very name. Russian name. I don't know how he's... <laughs> he must have a grandma or something out there. Uh, Igor Deviv uh, at CSKA again at centre-back. Joining him is Georgi Dekia from Moscow, Spartak. Um, and then at left back, you've got Dala Kusaev from Zenit. In the middle, you've got Roman Zobnin from Moscow again, uh, with Dmitry Baranov from Moscow again. So that should be a very familiar midfield. They will know each other. Then you've got Magmamed Ozdovayev uh, from Zenit. And then up top, you've got Alexei Miranchuk from Atalanta. I remember him when Liverpool played against them in the Champions League. Uh, you've got the big man, the legend for them up top, Artem uh, Ziyuba from Zenit. He's 32, number 22. And then you've got Alexander Golovkin 
not at Golovkin, the other one, at Monaco he is. Yeah, uh, good player. And then on the bench, uh, you've got uh, no one who I actually... Oh, Denis Shiroshev. He's on the bench. He's probably the most well-known name. Yeah. And, uh, there, oh, no, I'm quite impressed with uh, those pronunciations, mate. You yeah, know you're what a mean? better man than me, Alex. I I think, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah man. Uh, <laughs> you just found yourself a new job, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Translator. Translator, no, no. Looking um, forward to it, though. Looking forward to the game. Yeah. Remember, the first game, Russia got taken apart by Belgium. They did. 3-0. Um, um, Finland, of course, they're the ones who had to play in that game that restarted. Um, and, you know, they pulled off a bit of a shock win because mm. even when it got restarted, it was still Denmark all over them. And then they, it was a real smash and grab by Finland. Yeah. Um, on, on that game, going back to that game, the, 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 the good news is uh, it's looking like yeah. Christian Eriksen is on his way. You know, we even saw pictures of him um, yesterday yeah. where he's thanking everybody for, yeah. for all the love they've shown him. So that's great that he's on his way back to a full recovery. There's still the question, though. Right? And it's funny enough, I was on my way in today and I was chatting to somebody on the phone and they were saying to me, Robbie, that game should never have been played. Not even later on, it shouldn't have been played. I mean, you know, what, what's your thoughts on it, Nicky? Do you think they should have just abandoned that game? I think so. I think so. Uh, just for the sake of sporting integrity, really, um, yeah. something like that happens on the pitch. I mean, you, there was a man there close to close to death um, the Denmark players are never going to be in the right frame of mind of course you know when Christian Eriksen gets to the hospital when they find out he's awake and everything else because they're sportsmen because they're winners he's going to go out there and say yeah just play just play just play because you know uh, the showman in them says the show must go on and all of that mm. sort of thing but I don't think they should have been given a choice I don't, I don't think exactly. the choice should have been been given to him, it should have been, UEFA should have took that in their hands and said, no, look, you're not going to be in the right. Even if it had to be sort of played a little bit later, so they play their other group games first and then play that one at the, mm. at the end, uh, I think that should have been, that would have been yeah, fairer. Yeah, there was, there was something they were saying that um, they had a choice. You could yeah, play it. three options. Though, yeah, right? I heard two options. Like you play it that day. On the next day. On the same day or the next day. Well, I heard it was, was play at five o'clock that day. Uh, midday the next day or lose 3-0 and forfeit the game and there the Danish manager came out and said uh, you know it's crazy that they're actually someone's almost died on the pitch and they're the three options you give where mm. as if it was Covid you'd have more yeah. probably time and and there's provisions and there's provisions at the moment in this tournament because of Covid there's yeah, provisions where games don't have to be played or games can be moved back and yeah. stuff like that so I just don't understand you know, wh why, why that, you know, they were so insistent on playing it that same day. And I think it's very unfair on the Denmark and the Finland players. I mean, the Finland players, this, it might actually still affect them. Who knows? Like, a lot of those yeah. lads saw stuff that pff, a lot of people would never, you know, want to see in their lives. And thankfully, he's OK. But, you know, someone like Kaya, who actually held his tongue out of his mouth, got the medics on, Sorted his misses out on the on the side, talking to her, calming her down. Mm. What a player! He, like he's gonna have to go through therapy. I remember those it, it, lads who were watching and hearing that going on behind them, seeing yeah. their best mate. They're gonna have to go through therapy. I, I remember there was a time I, I I was first at the scene at a car accident one time, and unfortunately a couple of people died in it, and I I, I reached in to try help. That stuff does not leave you quickly. Like right? and, and and when you put that into context that, yeah, I, I know he's okay. Um, but when you put that into context, it's, it's a close friend or, <coughs> or, or family or, you know, some of these players are like brothers, they're, they're, they're very close. You know, that stuff doesn't leave you in a few days, a few yeah. hours, a few weeks even. Um, it's gonna be very difficult for Denmark, I, I think, to get their heads together. But now he's up and, uh, up and sort of, you know, he's not up and walking around, but he's, he's up and speaking and everything else. Hopefully that will that will ease some of their minds, but yeah. it shouldn't have been a choice. It shouldn't have been a choice. Yeah, I mean, all right, maybe they might be able to Lack play it now, but again, you know, because I I I I've got a similar thing like that. That I I was the first at a scene at a car accident once as well. Well, I remember one time we was over in France, and it was quite a few of us, right? We were travelling in this van, and unfortunately a couple of people died in this one as well. It was really horrible. It was like, and I swear I remember we still had about an hour left of our journey. And I remember, I remember it vividly to this day that one, once, once we left that accident 
and we drove from where we were driving in France to get to where we were going, none of us spoke. No. None of us. Up until that point, we were all uh, having a laugh. and Not one of us yeah. uttered a word. We were just sat there like that. And we didn't even know those people. So you can imagine your it teammate. Sap, it saps yeah. your energy. Yeah, it you know, your energy I, I just mentally, felt... mentally, physically. Yeah. You know, it's because your, your mind is racing all the time. You know, mm. they're, they're going to be sitting... Because at that time, even though he got to the hospital and he was away, he's not out of the woods. You know, oh, it's, it's 24 hours before... Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but b- b- before they can so- sort of say, okay, it's not going to happen again or whatever. So they'd have been thinking about that, you know, what happens if it happens again? What, it shouldn't have been a choice for them. It should no. have, the, 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 you know, as you say, there's, there's going to be some sort of protocols in place. Um, for instance, if there's an outbreak in the camp of, of COVID, uh, that, you know, that they'll stop games there and, and, and rearrange mm. them. Um, so there's, there's going to be protocols in place. Um, it shouldn't have been a choice for them, Mark, unfortunately. And, and unfortunate for them, they've gone on to w- lose the game. But listen, it's football at the end of the day. If they go out of mm. the tournament, they're not going to worry too much about that, I'm sure. Yeah. They've still got their... As long as it, long as it makes yeah. all right. Um, Francis says, hey, Don Robbie, I enjoy this show because of AGT. Good job to you. Um, he should feature more. I don't think I can possibly oh, no, feature I'm trying anymore. to work out if that... I'm, I'm looking <laughs> yeah. at the avatar. Cheers, seat. Mom. <laughs> Some mate of yours, you know what no, I mean? But no, 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 he's been brilliant. You, no, and um, Sophie, you. also good, um, but can be sassy sometimes. So I love that. She you know can I mean? be sassy. She <laughs> She's can always be. sassy. Big up, Sophie, man. Um, and Kyron Jacob says, uh, sad stuff, man. We have to appreciate life every moment, 100%. Uh, Kermo says, big up the medical staff for yeah. getting there so quickly. They're the real heroes they were Anthony on that Taylor day. Anthony Taylor as well. Respect yep. to him. Yep. Um, Didn't think I'd be saying that. And uh, Kirikos says, I love Nicky. Kudos for having him on. Um, well, thank you, man. Steffi says it was emotional, emotionally um, draining. Yeah. Um, I think uh, there was a few fans that said it was actually emotionally draining. Oh, can you oh, imagine? You know, watching it on the TV. Sti- they were mm. in the stadium whilst all the news yeah. was coming in. So. <laughs> Hamza, I shouldn't even laugh at this one, but Hamza says, this Nicky guy attracts problems. He says... First in Jamaica, right? He says, <laughs> now a fatal car accident. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. I've, lived, I've, I've lived life. life, that's what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I would hear about that Jamaica I ain't going story. nowhere with Nicky, man. I'm a I'm sick, <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, honestly, honestly. If you talk to my mum, yeah, she would tell you, anywhere I go, there's always problems, you know. They were scared of me going on holiday for a little while because I had so many problems when I went away every time. <laughs> KJ says, uh, Finland players wearing Get Well Christian on their shirt. Love that, man. You know what a lot of people was commenting the last time you came on as well? They was commenting about how much weight you lost. Yeah, yeah. They're like, bloody hell. They go, that's not Nicky. They're like, that's easy. <laughs> you have eight stone. How much? Eight stone. Eight stone. Yeah. Jesus. I'm still losing. Still eight eight stone. stone. Yeah. I was a fat bastard, Robbie. You were. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't want to describe it as that. <laughs> he was going. He was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you, yeah no, you, you, how you can I say that? <laughs> how can I, of all people, say that? But honestly, like, eight you've stone, lost. Man. Trust me, man. You're looking yeah, good. Yeah, eight stone. How do you lose eight stone? How do you manage that? What was the diet? Uh, not so much hard work. I had to go for a, a small operation, but I've hit, hit healthily after that. You know, yeah. I had to have some 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 yeah. pop, stomach stomach problems. So, but. That, so that aided it, and I just, I just carried on. So you just eat what? No takeaways, no nothing. Not like really, that. nah, nah. All right, no pizzas whilst Nicky's on. All right. <laughs> you know, um, it's the other day when we got our lunch. I didn't have anything. So. Uh, oh yeah, yeah you a, didn't. Yeah, Meanwhile, very, I've um, got a tuna what's panini. That? <laughs> so. No, nah, big you up for that, man. Trust me. You know what I mean. You know what? We got to look after ourselves, man. Come on, man. Covid. What we saw the other day with Christian Eriksen, it just brings it all home, man. You know what I mean? It, without your health, oh, God, oh, do you it know doesn't what? matter what, how talented you are, or whatever you do, you, you know, it's over. Do you know what? I've got to pick up my boss today, right? My boss, I started a new company, my this. He sent over some gifts. I'll give them to you in a second, right? Uh, but big up my boss, Al Saeed, because he's, he's allowed me to be here today. I should be at work. Big up Al Saeed, man. Big uh, up on Al Saeed. We work for my this, but he sent over some gifts for you. Just keep the right. studio sh- safe, right? So, all right. <laughs> what um, do my this do? Hand sanitizer. So that's can, a hand sanitizer. Well, no, no this is a, a, big a surface sanitizer. So you okay, keep, yeah, keep yeah, everything yeah. safe. So he sent over oh, some lovely. bottles of that. Cheers. He's also sent over some individual bottles. So that's one oh, for you, Rob. Thank you very much. 
Bosch. And I left some yeah, out there for the that's, crew. That's a stylish hand sanitizer, man. Yeah. Midas.com, man. You can buy it. Midas. There's a sour there. Might as well. So, be yeah, he's like, I see the pattern now. It's like, yeah, Nicky, you can have the day off. Yeah. But when you go on there, you got to promote. Yeah. <laughs> you got to promote. No, right? no. Do you know what? He no, no. I'm a big. He, he never asked me to do that, but I just he sent some stuff over. He just said like, pandemic, the lockdowns extended and everything else. So he, he sent over some stuff. Stylish bottles for uh, for go. hand sanitizer. Yeah, really. Do you know the stylish. funny thing is, right? I remember the other day I was in a shop and I was saying to myself, um, the shop said something like uh, hand sanitizer, and it was like ten percent off or something like that. And I was going, look at that now. They're sort of this is alcohol free. Oh, it's alcohol free. Alcohol or? free, yeah. It's all okay. natural ingredients, made in Britain. Make oh, it locally, oh yeah, alcohol yeah. free. And but what I was just thinking of is like, remember when the whole things first started? You couldn't get hand sanitizer. Hand san- a little bottle of hand sanitizer tenor. was, was ten tenor. quid. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Tenner. I was like, that, ten that quid, was man. March last year. That was a disgrace. I went to like, well, I went to my little local shop, right? And the guy goes me ten. I go, ten pound for yeah, that. Man. Uh, some and some he just he just sort of like rock back like this and said goes, show, it? Yeah. he just sort of rock no no he didn't go in the show he just sort of rock back like this and said well go and get it somewhere else then yeah I was like you cheeky yeah, I mean, actually when I for West Ham TV, fan TV the other day we went and donated a, a pallet of it to uh, to the local food bank because it's obviously oh brilliant yeah so he, they're well into the community stuff there as well man it's, mm. yeah it's a really good company one of the best bosses I've ever had to be honest oh brilliant man yeah. big him up what's his name again Al Saeed Al Saeed big up Al Saeed man respect right what's it, what, who's he support is he a football fan he's uh, yeah, Liverpool actually oh follow God. the cop TV Al Saeed <laughs> <laughs> come on he don't um, really like football that much <laughs> no he does he's got it all over his office um, let's uh, get into some more of the uh, comments Ruble says that's pepper spray. <laughs> it's not. It's hand sanitizer. I can say that. San also says nice one, boss. Nice one, right? Um, Matthew McFarlane says alcohol free is the way to go. Um, Anas says, Nikki, tell them your Poland story. Oh no! Right? What was this? Another no, one no, now? No, no. Oh, yeah, this you, is you, a different you, story. Well, okay. uh, maybe half time. Okay. It's um, a long story. We can see the uh, players of Finland coming out. They've over their shirts, they've got um, just a white T-shirt that just says, Get Well Christian, which is a really nice um, gesture. So still lots of love for uh, Christian Eriksen. Um, brilliant. Do you know what? When you, just going back to the game, Rob, just before you said, um, you know, it, 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 you made a sort of joke that it's not going to be an exciting game. This is make or break for both these teams because yeah. Russia got mm. absolutely battered. So not necessarily, hold on, not necessarily make or break for Finland though. No, no, no. They got three they points for they Russia, but today. they can qualify today. Russia can qualify today. No, Finland. No, Finland. Finland. Sorry, sorry Finland can qualify yeah, today. So they're yeah, going to so be going. For Russia is a huge game. Russia need to go out because they need the three points. But yeah. Finland, they're going to look at this and think this is our best opportunity to qualify today. Mm. So it could be a, a bit of a ding dong game. We watched that Macedonia game the other day. Yeah, that, that was a that was, that was a good, a good game. That was a, that was a very Austria one. Is that so. the game we had doing on the other day? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we really look after you, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I did watch the England one. Though. Yeah, Nicky, we got uh, Macedonia. Yeah, can you? Uh, we got the Finland game. <laughs> hey, it's a festival of football. We all love football. It, yeah, yeah, you football, are right. Though some of the games that, and it's always like that in tournaments. Some of the games that everybody's like, yeah, that's the one I want to watch. That then went, look at that game the other night, Spain, the first nil nil. <laughs> that was a drab game. Terrible game. And all the other games have been really entertaining. And like you said, particularly Russia have to go for it. I thought they were a bit disappointing against Belgium. You know, made lots of mistakes. Yeah. You know, um, they really got. Uh, they it's really good, got. It, go it for could it. be it's an pressure. open game. Finland are going to look at this as the opportunity to really, yeah, sort of like cement themselves in the next round. And yeah. Russia and need the points. They need them. So it could be a good. It could be a good game. But look, it's the Euros. Every every mm. game's. A, I think every game's a good game. You know, when um, you're watching football one after the other. Oh it's yeah, you can't beat it, mate. Overweight dinosaur ninety nine says, "Hi Robbie, what do you think of Kiefer Moore from uh, Wales Cardiff?" Would you have him at Arsenal? He's, he's, this, he scored a great goal um, in that game for Wales, but... The bar's very low now these days to get linked to Arsenal, isn't it? I mean, piss funny. off, mate. You know, I mean, he's in the sky. <laughs> it, well, you the same he scores one, a header and he's all you, of a sudden getting Hold on, in. wait a minute. Weren't you the same one? Oh, we got Andy Robertson. Oh, we got this. from the, we, All these clubs that nobody thought of. Unknown yeah. clubs. See? Now you're contradicting your own argument, aren't you? Mm. No, I wouldn't totally Who agree. Who does he play that. for? He plays for... Hey, there's some good 
talent in the championship. Yeah, oh, for sure. Some real as good we all know, but it's just funny. Like, as one good game, he's linked to Arsenal all of a sudden. Mm. Um, yeah, weird. Joy says, Robbie, where is the pizza? <laughs> Nicky's here, man. So it's going to have to be a healthy, healthy. <laughs> and out of it has been banned. Um, apparently, really? Yeah, mm. quite a few people saying Charlie Gorf. Um, we did see that there for insulting his other teammate. Remember when he scored the other day? Yeah. His celebration that we were like, what's all that all no, about? It's some yeah. nonsense, Apparently really. what's happened, a player he was in a bit of a fracas with allegedly said something about Albanian because obviously um, Arnautovic is Albanian. Right. So I don't know what's happened. He's come out and said he's not a racist. Yeah, some of them, some of them Baltic countries, they really don't like each other. Yeah, they yeah, missed yeah. the game against the Netherlands, I think, for that. Wow, that's a big which, miss. Which that's is, a big miss. Know, they need him for that. Uh, what, do you, what do you make of last night, then? Um, <sighs> the game last night, right, where Pogba mm. appears to have been bitten, <laughs> right, by Rudiger. But Rudiger, yeah. That's surely got to be a ban as well, then, I mean, huh? Rudiger, I know he's got the mask on, but it's like he thinks <laughs> we don't know who's under the mask. Like, we know it's you, mate. Like, no, I thought he, you know, he thought was he's the Phantom bite? of the Opera or something, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean a Dracula biting I people. I don't think he sinks his teeth in. I think maybe he gives him a... Ah, yeah, but you still of, see the reaction from Pogba. So no, yeah. but it's a li- if you break it down, it's a li- it should have been earlier if it was a bite. They were breaking down the you know, split by split second and they were saying, so if what's he's he bitten doing? him there, he then he should time. react. But I reckon he's just, I don't know. He's not bitten he's, him, but he's kind of put I his find face that, I, I find that sort of stuff crazy. I, I, I think he should get banned. I see you, stuff you, like you, that in you, Sunday you, League, though. Don't you worry. think, right, Covid. Little pinch on We're the in COVID, you know what I mean? We're, when they come off the pitch, they've got to wear a mask and all yeah. this stuff, and then you're biting someone. Yeah, yeah. Or attempting to bite it's someone like or whatever. A little nibble. Yeah, little but what, what, why? Bro, that's, that's what you'd have to ask him. I think he pinches him on the nipple as well, doesn't he? And yeah, and then he grabs him around. It's, it's all for reaction. They, yeah. they, it's, all, it's all to wind them up. No, I don't know. I think he, I think he should, you know, be Mate, facing something. I've played some sort Sunday League before, and man, are pinching me in the back of the leg, stamping on my feet when I'm trying to run. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I don't know. Rudiger might be old school like that. <laughs> uh, Kian says Pogba was brilliant. You say he was. He was. He was excellent. Uh, he, he was excellent. And, and the thing, was better though. He plays better for his uh, country than he does for his own. Yeah. I thought Mbappe was electric last night. He, he was. was. I love Mbappe. Yeah, I, I, I'd really like to see him mm. in the Premier League. Um, Nick says, um, as England fans, with the real possibility of playing France, Portugal or Germany, what did you guys think of them last night? I thought all of them looked decent. Mm. France in particular for me looked good. I thought Germany looked good as well. You, you know, a lot of people have been writing them off, but you know, they, they write them decent. off. That's got me a PS5 yeah. if they win. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you got Germany, didn't you? Did you get Finland? Uh, Scotland, mate. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting The Scotland. reverse of the Finnish right. flag, basically. Portugal, of course, with Cristiano and Ronaldo. I don't know if you saw yesterday, we had a bet on. Mm. Um, it was me and Parisian uh, London. Yeah. And um, we were saying, if a penalty gets given, who will take it? Because obviously you've got Bruno Fernandes there. And he's going, oh, Bruno Fernandes. I said, are you no dumb? I no said, one's nobody's having Ronaldo. that ball of Cristiano Ronaldo, mate. No. And he can get his goal count up and stuff like that. And he goes, no. It's the Euro's be- high scorer, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so when the penalty came round, we were just like, oh, he's going <laughs> to We just saw Ronaldo, just like, give me that, mate. Don't be stupid, mate. So the day you retire, might take the pens for United, mate, but this is a yeah, different, yeah, don't be stupid. different kettle of fish. Do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he just said. He just looked at Bruno me. Fernandes and said, yo, you know who I am? Yo, I'll put down that ball, man. <laughs> Everyone stupid, here man. today, they will come to Bruno, me, Bruno Fernandes is a fabulous player, but Ronaldo's one of the best He's in the world. He's on another level. Yeah. I like that Finland kit, you know. It's nice. Yeah, I like it. Naveen says, hey, Robbie, loving the content and the guys. Um... I'm doing an architecture thesis right now, and this is a, such good stress reliever. Mm. Such a good stress reliever. Um, so big up to you, Naveen. Um, and uh, Ricardo T says, Wagwan Don Robbie, Nikki, and Alex. Question for Nikki um, Have you ever seen or met Steve Harris of Iron Maiden over the years at the games at the bowling ground? No. Um, big up to your success of all of your channels, guys. No, thank no? you. Uh, I've never met him. My brother... Is he a regular? Uh, I don't think so much anymore. But <coughs> look, Iron Maiden are one of the, the biggest... Bands in the uh, world. Heavy metal bands in the world. Like, yeah, yeah. The still. amount of world... Yeah, even yeah. still, like, you know, 30, Legends. 40 years on. Um, we, we, we used to film Post Match Pint in the pub where they first started. 
in the in the, mm. uh, the down in Stratford, one of the first ones where they where they first started. And we used to have like backgrounds, with him, but I've never met him. It's always someone I want to get him on the channel one day. Mm. So we'll have to get a contact. But um, no, I've never met him. My brother is is a mad Iron Maiden fan. Mm. Mad. I'm not me. Not so much. I'm not that. I'm not mm. that heavy. You know what I mean? So. Um, but not no I'm, more anyway. Not anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> you lost eight stone. You're not heavy now, <laughs> right? Um, Mbappe to Liverpool says Syria. It's been rumoured, isn't it? I mean, times. there's been some no, no chance. Man. Some some rumours. You ain't got that money. <sighs> no, it's not happening. Sorry. You'd I'm have to sell Van Dijk. You'd have to sell a couple of players to do that. Yeah. Um, but could you imagine him? Jesus, Mbappe and Salah could up front or money. That'd be no. I want to add to him. No. <laughs> um, Striker Game says Pogba hates Heineken. Now he did. Uh, we saw Cristiano Ronaldo the other day at his press conference. He took two bottles of Coca-Cola and moved them and away. Said, Agua. Right. Drink and water. said that people should drink water. And then Pogba now moved uh, Heineken. It was a non-alcoholic it was a non -alcoholic Heineken, though, wasn't it? Zero point zero percent. Yeah. Now these sponsors are gonna get start getting really. He doesn't hate off. Heineken. He just doesn't drink alcohol. He, do, he don't drink alcohol, does he? Because he's Muslim. But yeah, yeah, he's in a, Muslim. a way, Ronaldo doing that has probably brought more focus on Coca Cola yeah. than it would have Apparently if he had just left it. Their stock has dropped by four billion or something. What because has of it? that? Because of that, yeah. Yeah, no, they're, they're going to be getting some. But the, the thing, the thing, somebody said to me though, they go, they've seen Pogba though popping the champagne. Like, you know, in celebrations Sometimes and games. Sometimes they have non-alcoholic ones for Yeah, but that was a non-alcoholic Heineken. So he probably didn't know. It's an I don't know, you know what I mean? But, uh, I remember, I, 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 they didn't... Um, what was the name of that player? There was a player who played for Newcastle who refused to wear... Wonga. The Wonga yeah, on the top yeah, you're because right. he said it he was, was against um, betting. Oh, I forgot, was it? Um, yeah, I remember that. He's that guy, he scored that great goal that time. Now tell us in the chat. Denver, Papi Cisse. Papi Cisse, Papi Cisse, that's it, yeah. yeah. But then, they then, a couple of weeks after that, he was in a casino. <laughs> was he? <laughs> oh, Did you see that? Yeah, no, that's a liberty, yeah. <laughs> and he was photographed in the casino. And he's calling Wonga going, I think right, so that's the, that's the danger when you... you probably owed him money, yeah. <laughs> Raps one, um, big up Charlene and uh, Sophie Rose. Um, yeah, Papi Cisse, everybody confirming it there. It was Papi Cisse. Um, Big Shark says CR7 has shares in Pepsi. <laughs> That's why he moved to Coca-Cola. <laughs> but the, uh. the thing is, though, he did a massive campaign for KFC. And there's a picture of Ronaldo like this, holding the bargain bucket with about yeah. 50 pieces in. And it's like, yeah. you're telling people to drink yes. water, but you're doing a KFC advert yeah. for 10 yeah, It's crazy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That man has never touched an ounce of fat in his life, you can tell. Yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? Shredded. Right? Um, predictions, so because we're just about to kick off. You see the Finland players in the huddle there. Um, Nicky? I think Russia's going to take this one. Yeah? Yeah, I do. I think they're going to be a bit, uh, they're going to have to really go for it today. Mm. Um, um, so I think they're going to squeeze it 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one Russia? I'm going for a Desmond today. 2-2? Two, two. Yeah. All right. I'm going, I'm going to go Russia as well. I'm, yeah. I'm with you, Nicky. They have to win this or they're out, really. I'm just looking they're for out. goals. They'll win this, they're out. They're gone. You know, end to end. One entire, yeah, one entertaining game. Where, where's it being played, by the way? Helsinki? So it's in Finland. Yeah. Oh, no, this will be St. Petersburg. Did yeah. you see... Oh, um, St. Petersburg, yeah. Did you see nice Hungary? Hungary? Yeah, Full Hungary, ground. the stadium was 67,000. That was ground. unbelievable. Obviously, hardly any COVID there. There must not be. Well, this is it. Well, each, it was nice to see. Each place we're seeing, we're seeing how well their country has handled COVID. Like, yeah. This is more than Wembley, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it looks more than it. Wembley. It's similar. It might be similar. But Hungary, I mean, it's quite... I, I, I don't know where you feel, but I feel quite emotional about seeing four grounds now. And, oh, uh, I, was, I was looking at the, the fixture list today, you know, because... Chance. Oh, early chance. Um, early chance here for Russia. You're on the attack. Corner. Corner. You're saying you're looking at the fixture list? Yeah, looking at the fixture list <coughs> that, and I'm getting really excited about the prospect of going back now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. We, we, you know, you guys, us guys, we go every single game, every yeah. game before yeah, COVID. Man. Last year and a half has been like alien. Yeah, it's been but weird, I'm just man. starting to get used to that now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, you know what? Watching, the, watching that game, that hungry game, and seeing a full stadium is like, almost like highlights of an old game. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> It was like highlights of an old game. I'm like, hold on, what are they doing? How can you have so many fans here? What's going on? 
Oh, and you think about it, every single game would have been packed. Because I think what they, the one thing I commend UEFA for with what they're doing now is that they were taking it around Europe. I like that idea. Yeah. 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 I like that idea of taking it around. Uh, see, I wasn't too sure because of the outbreak. And mm. I was thinking to myself, oh, it just so happens when, mm. you know, the, the, the one time, because it's, it's something like 50 years, isn't it? It was a 50th yeah. year, um, maybe, maybe more. Um, that they took it round Europe, and uh, and then we had the outbreak, and I thought, how can they do that now? Because yeah. you just can't have people travelling around. But well, you see, we're looking at only from our eyes, yeah. But if you look at, like Alex said, you're looking at some of these other places. They've obviously got it under better control than us. Because look at there's more, even that stadium there. That's like for Finland, Russia as well. That's looking like a half full, yeah. isn't it? But have they? Or have they just... <laughs> or have they just said, you go, just, just, yeah, you yeah, go, just go. Yeah, we need, we we need do it after. But we'd, we'd prefer that, wouldn't we, really? At the, at the moment, I think, yeah. I think with the, like, the current lockdown situation being extended and all that, I think people just... You know, I've we, had enough, man. Yeah, yeah. I've had, I mean, listen, you, you, you have to follow the rules, but I, I'm just like, please, man. Can we have some football back? Can we have Meanwhile, normality. normality in, yeah. At the G7 summit with no masks on, all getting mm. pissed together. It's just one yeah. rule for I, them, I, one I, rule for honestly, us. Honestly, yeah. I, I want to go to a club. Rob, you want to get? I said this right the other day. I was like, yeah, I've, nightclub, nightclub, and I thought I ain't been nightclub in about ten years now. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't even make it past midnight now. <laughs> so what am I worried about the nightclubs for? Get I out, just, I, I want to. Oh, Finland oh, nicked it there. Charles, oh, oh, it's a goal! goal! Oh, it's a goal for Finland! Goal for Finland! They've done it again! Yes! They've done it again, Finland! Great That's cross. a great header, great cross, great he's, header! He's the guy that scored in the last game. Yeah, he, he scored celebrate. in the last game, yeah. Now he can celebrate. That's massive a goal. 1 0 for Finland, that was a what nice a move. Cross. Nick the ball back and just got it straight in there. Brilliant by Finland. Great cross. Love no. that passion, by the way. Finland yeah. started to look like the surprise package of the tournament so far. The, the, you know this, what? This I've been it. to Finland before. Let's go Finland. Bosh. It's a, he, look, the Nicked ball's nicked there and intercepted. And oh. here, definitely onside. It's a brilliant header. header. Brilliant header. Great cross. What a ball that is. Brilliant header. The direction, the leap. Unbelievable. Diving header. Diving fantastic. Three minutes in. Now you we're going to get a game. You don't see many diving headers nowadays. That is a fantastic goal. Russia need to wake up now. Russia, this, in this. a game that they have to win, are up against it. Oh, well, they're checking oh, it VAR. Oh, I think this is onside. No, it'll be they're fine. checking it for it might VAR. Be for a foul or something. Oh, what's going on? Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no, he's disallowed it. What? He's disallowed the goal. No. He's disallowed the goal. What? Why has that been disallowed? Offside. Oh, oh, he is oh off come on. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. slightly he is. offside. Oh, that's joking. harsh. That really is harsh. Unlucky Finland. It's been disallowed. Bloody no. VAR, man. I can't stand it. You start celebrating, oh, great goal, and then you get mugged off. Well, it was still a great goal. Elliot John says, boo. <laughs> yeah, I agree, man. That would have, you know what? That would, have liked, that would have been good for the game. But, you know. It might give... Uh, well done to Finland, though. They've started off brightly. And that would have given the Russians a real scare. Remember, this is a game they really have to win. You know, two defeats, really, in your first two games. You're, you're literally gone. <clears throat> It's not quite just because of the um, well, third place teams can third, qualify. Third place, but it's gonna it'll make it very tough. Though. Yeah, yeah, but third place teams gonna be. And difficult. They've got Denmark next as well. Yeah, Denmark difficult to qualify with three points, maybe four points. Yeah. You know. Wasn't um, Yuri Zhirkov playing in the last game for Russia? Yes, he was. He, he was. was yeah. I think he, he came off he injured. Must have didn't he? injured. Yeah. He came off injured. Luke MUFC says Wembley is allowed to be half full soon, isn't it? So that's 45 You know what, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Because every one minute, yeah, and then it changes. and it, You know what I mean? I, I bet you all the boxes will be full up. Who's eating popcorn? Is that, is that salted? I think it's sweet and salted. There's only salted? one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Cross. That's a decent sure. cross. Oh, oh is a chance there for Russia? Nah. Nah. Yeah, salted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't you like salted? That's all right. Go on, Glenn. That's always the best one. There's Glenn Kamara on the run there. I like the oh. mixture, the two, the two of them together. <clears throat> they had that one. Mm? They've got a mixture one. Yeah, yeah, got a mixture, yeah. No, I mean, these guys here got a mixture one, so... That might be in that bowl. 
they got some, um, he bought some fiery crisps in. Have you ever tasted them fiery crisps? Yeah. Which ones? Not really my thing. Oh no, don't fancy, don't fancy them. Wow, Russia rattled. I'll tell you what, that's probably about two inches at, yeah. at most offside. Yeah, it was, it, <coughs> when you looked at it, I mean, that's the way VIR should be used because when you look at it, you can tell that's offside. It's just, you know, in real time, that would be difficult. It's when they have to start drawing the lines and getting their protractors out and all of that sort of stuff that, that I think, nah, man, like, wow. just, just let it that protractors. go. Protractors. You know what? I haven't used Remember the protractor. Remember that it's called protractor? Bro, yeah. <laughs> protractor? I haven't even heard that word. You know the only thing that wow. people use They're protractors semi for at house is to stab you in the bum. <laughs> if you walk past and someone will go, stab you in the bum, <laughs> protractor. But you didn't go to private school then, obviously. No, I didn't go to private <laughs> school. <laughs> did you grow up around uh, East End, did you? Yeah, yeah, I'm Canning Town boy. Canning Town? Yeah, Canning Town boy. Bosh. Did you say posh? No, I said bosh. Oh. He definitely, <laughs> ain't, definitely bosh. ain't bosh. <laughs> I've been to Canning Town. Not the Canning Town I remember wasn't the... Uh, Is that... It's not far from Silvertown. Is it bougie now? I ain't been in for a while. There's a it's few new high-rises and that, hmm? knocking yeah, about those. Yeah, it's though, getting a little bit gentrified now. Yeah. It's still yeah. rough, though. Well, the whole of the East End before the Olympics was a bit like that, and then the whole yeah. kind of... It's I mean, Hackney and, and Stratford before the Olympics. Stratford in particular, well... That's where all the big YouTubers live now. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't live there. Where? Stratford. And they all live in, in the no. towers. In the, in, the, in the Halo Towers and yeah. stuff. Yeah. KSI and all those guys. You used to live up there, right? Stratford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not as big as them. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Oof. This game is a feisty one, though. It is a feisty one. Do you know what? One. I'm really, really liking like both of these says. kits. I actually think they're both top quality kit. kits. The Finland kit is what? a beautiful kit. But look at the, the Russia one, one the collar. Look mm. at the collar on the Russia one. I don't that's, like that. That's it's a beauty. Like average. I'm not, I'm not a lover of average, you know. Already thinks it's livable. No, I love a V-neck collar. I love a V-neck collar. But the Finland kit... Finland kit I really like. I'm trying That's to work different. out, is that their home kit? Yeah. Finland, yeah. yeah, I would say so. Must be, right? Their away kit must be just blue and white, like the opposite. Mm. Yeah, that's what they had on the other day, ain't it, when they played um, yeah. Denmark. I had a Linton Milan kit years ago. Fiorucci? Yeah. Nice. With the... It had like a St George's cross on it. It was like a, a big St George's that. cross. Yeah, I, I that, don't yeah. know what the. Um, I that, yeah, because they have that in a, <coughs> yeah, in a few different fact, teams yeah. in round Europe. They've mm. got an England flag. I don't know what the what the, what the connection Haven't is. Haven't Barca got that in theirs as mm. well? In their sort of flag. Thing, yeah, I think flag, they've got. Yeah. yeah, I think they have. Colin Toss says the Russia jersey is better. Nah, I like the Finland one, man. I don't like a collar. It's different. I don't like the collar either. No, that's my favourite bit. Oh, chance. Oh, he's a chance here for Where Russia. Oh, he's oh, he missed he's it. He's got to hit the target. He's got a score there. He's lent back there. He's got a score there. So look, look, there's no one around him. There's no oh. one around him. Oh. You've got to oh. score. That is laces, bottom that is drill. Poor. You just drill that. Oh, it yeah, did bobble, that's, though. That's did bobble. Nah, bobble. I reckon I could have scored that. Yeah, so do I. Would you have put your laces for it? Or yeah, gone absolutely. Side foot? I don't even know if you have to put your laces. I think, you know, side, side foot's foot the right thing. Side, side, side foot's the right thing. Yeah, he's just, he's just got the technique all wrong. Like, it's pass it into Poor. the far corner, yeah. Terrible. Fabian says a popcorn is dead. Toffee is top, says. No, no, listen, man, I don't like all these toppy. No, toffee and There's sweet a lot of toffee on that stuff. Yeah. We had it the other day. There's a lot of toffee on that. Toffee yeah. popcorn. Mm. I don't, I'm not into that, man. It is very, very sweet. It's, it's very sickly, very man. sickly. Salted popcorn. Happy days. I like to keep the studio I quite, used to have um, a, a guy who used to free. live mm -hmm. next door to me, yeah? Mm. He used to, like, run his own sweet company. He used to sell us, like, buckets of popcorn for, like, 50p. <laughs> you know, oh, the, buckets? The, yeah, a bucket. Um, for like the toffee one, so I ate so much of it as a kid. That's, that's why I had to lose eight stone. Um, <laughs> Your neighbour. But I ate so much as a, as a kid that it, 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 it's quite, it gets quite sickly after sickly, a while. Huh? Yeah. Oh, he's using his hand sanitizer. Tell you what, it smells a lot better than the old tequila. There's no fragrance. Hands, yeah. yeah, there's no fragrance in it. It's all natural, natural ingredients. Yeah, it's good. 
Big up, Dave. All right, Dave. Dave, don't bring no more drinks here, man. Spanish, we're, we're Dave. not in troops, is it? Did you see troops the other night? He had troops. No, I was sitting next to him. He volleyed a ball at my head. <laughs> what, do you have too much to drink? Oh, yeah. too much. No. This guy, Dave, brought in the, uh, was it, the, it's Spanish or Greek? No, it's Greek? It's a Greek vodka kind of thing. And every 20 minutes they did two shots, plus he was on the beers and the oh, yak Brandy. and coke and probably something else. Um, yeah, mental. And then it was messy. You know? I was giving Charlene a little header with the ball there, and it came over to troops a bit. I went down to to pick it up, and he's volleyed it at my face. <laughs> Tell you what, if my face wasn't there, it would have smashed the Don Robbie picture. Hey, where's the Don Robbie picture now? It's downstairs. Oh. And he would have been he'd have been out there. Dave, do you want to go and get the Don Robbie picture so we can? <laughs> <laughs> no, leave it, it there. <laughs> <laughs> leave it there. But I saved your picture with my face. I got volleyed in the face to save Don Robbie things you have to do that's what i mean it's the commitment <laughs> to the cause like i felt like john terry in the league Cup <laughs> and drb booted him in the face oh come on pookie a lot of energy in this game yeah do you know what i was thinking yesterday i, I mean i don't know whether you've checked the weather or anything for the next few days but oh, it's, it's, it's cooling rain. down rain in it oh just but a bit but Storms that may be good for England. Yeah. Oh, is there a chance here for Russell? Oh, oh he's got to be in the post. He's got to be offside, surely. He wasn't. Yeah, offside, he weren't offside. Offside, offside. Oh, he's offside? Giving, oh, he's giving it, it now. now. He's a beast, that fella. I was going to say, he looks about. Oh, I don't know, you know. Oh, yeah, he yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. He's off, he's off, he's off. He's off. He is an it's absolute to beast, this fella. Then that defender thinks, I think, no? Look at the size of him. He looks like a guy to be in the Russian army, innit? Yeah, yeah. Look at him. I mean. A Russian soldier, he yeah, looks like, man. He's got like an iron for a head. When I, went, when, when I was in Russia at the World Cup, I had, um, I had to do something one day for ITV. And we were going around, it was that we were going around and they had like a Russian, this guy is like... Bodyguard. <laughs> they said he was a translator, but he was sort of translator stroke bodyguard. <laughs> like he was like, you know, there's this sort of stereotypical thing of Russians that like they're very serious. Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, he, oh, oh, there's a chance there, Finland. Timo Pukki. Oh, 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 he's done well. Oh, get his shot off. Can he get his shot off? Oh, oh, he he missed it up. He miss kicked it. Yeah, this guy, he fitted every stereotype. He was so serious. Yeah, like Arvin Drago. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, he was big, right? He's sort of an older guy, probably like in his fifties, but you could see, don't miss, right? Mm. And he hardly said anything. I mean, he said hello, but that was about it all day. It wasn't until I said to him later on in the day, I go, I see him walk when he's walking. I go, you know what? Were you in the army? He goes, yes, I was army. I was army. And I go, yeah, I fought. So he goes, why do you think army? I said, just how you walk, you know, your. I mean, and then after that, he's talking to me for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. Right, I broke the ice. Broke the ice, that's it. But I tell you, he was a serious dude, man. He was, he was a big guy. Chiseled face, you some, know what I mean? Guys, on his break. Yeah, he was, a, you could just see it, rough. They've got you to be some miss. of the hardest people on the planet, I was yeah. yeah, the Russians are rough, man, I'm telling you. Honestly, I wouldn't want to mess with... <laughs> I mean... Should have got your shot away there. Yeah, get yeah. your yeah. shot off. Or pass it. Look at Pookie. Pookie's looking at Oh, he's kicked it away from himself. Yeah, Look, yeah, idiot. Foot. They can hurt sometimes as well, you know, when you do an air shot like that. Your ligaments stretch. to your knee. If they don't connect with the ball, can stretch. Trying to do too much, man. Keep it simple. 15 minutes in. No cookie, no party. I'm shame that goal just got disallowed because that would have changed the dynamic of the game. Well, they are both still going for it, to be fair. I think you're going to see it a high-energy game, honestly. I mean, it must be quite hot there, to be fair, now. It must be in the 30s where they're playing. It's going to be hot. It's in quite a lot of shade, though. Yeah, but the, as I was saying, the weather um, is changing over the next few days. Mm. And I think that could be good for England. Nice it could be good for Scotland as well. <laughs> I don't if it's think pissing it down, they're going to be like, hey, I don't think anything perfect. can save Scotland if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the keeper, man? That, that keeper got... Yeah, the memed up. The memes of him. The one with Spider-Man and he's wrapped up in the net. Oh, I ain't seen that one. And he's like... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen that one. Oh, it's uh, there's hundreds. What he was he doing though? God knows. I don't know why he's so... Some of them just get a bit 
they do, their the concentration goes, yeah. yeah. It, like I've always said it, a, a goalkeeper should never really be outside of that box. Yeah. What he was doing all the way out there, I've, I've got no idea. And that super, um, super keeper, isn't it? Yeah, that that, <laughs> that player's just had a look at him and thought mm. he's, he's probably taking line. the Mickey a little bit. The brilliant goal. What a goal! Yeah, he'll never do that again, though. That Marshall in goal. He'll never know. come off his line again. Oh. Nah. Yeah, it was it. LFC 4L says we're going to slap Scotland 4 0. It'd be tight. It'll be a tight game just because it's the, uh, it's the old Battle of Britain, isn't it? So. Mm. It's the oldest it'd be rivalry tight. in international football. Yeah, it'd be tighter it? than you think, but mm. I think we'll win. I don't think it'll be tight. I think, I think England. It's going to be one of those games will start off a bit tight, then England. Well, Rory Jennings the other day, he predicted it would be 5 0 to England. So. Never know, man. I don't know about that 5 0. 5 0, you know. I can see 2 3 0 easy. Blame Someone's saying pick that. For, did, did a flag drop? No. Oh, maybe that one there. Uh, what flag is it that dropped? Oh, it's chance. Keep something. Is that very quickly? Have we had a flag drop? Oh, I can see it in the middle there. Yeah, something's dropped. No, there. it's a flag drop down. There. It's a flag drop. What flag drop? The Ooh. German flag. Ooh. That's Nicky. You've done that deliberately, dude. It's my team. It's my team. That's your team. Right, we've got to get that flag back up. Before. We've got to get that flag back up. Come on, we've got to show respect to the Germans, man. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah, Anna says next to Portugal. Yes, behind you. They don't miss a trick, mate. Um, Manrick says we're beating Scotland. Yeah, I think we'll beat Scotland. Colin Toss says it's only the German flag, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Puds13 says, bad sign for Germany. And yeah. Nicky, of course. Maybe it's a good there. sign. What, dropping? Not dropping, but. Like that. No, and Dave's got it, man. Dave's got it. Oh! It's a chance! Oh. He's defending again. Awful defending to let him in there. Oh, that's a foul. Come on, Phil, and come on. Have you Glenn. seen anything? I mean, we've seen all the teams now. Have you seen anything from anyone that sort of convinced you that they may go further? Or they may... Yeah, France look good, France, cool, yeah. France. Italy, though. Italy, Italy good. look good. They oh, lost the game Portugal for a long time. Decent. Belgium won 3-0, didn't Belgium they? Belgium look good. Yeah. Dave on the ladder. Careful, Dave. <laughs> it's like the episode of Only Fools when <laughs> Rodney and Dave got to oh. do the chandelier. Ooh. Brace yourself, Rodders. Move one J says drop flag means Germany dropping out sooner than not off before. Oof. Once the Euros are finished, can I have all of these like garden stuff? <laughs> <laughs> UG says, Robin, when are you gonna be getting an esports team for AFTV? We're looking at it, actually. That's a great um, Dequan fair. says France didn't even score. They didn't, but like, they were just such a threat throughout the game, weren't they? They it was that, an that second one goal, I but. thought was a little bit harsh. The own goal. Uh, the, they, the second one they scored. Oh, oh, he's a chance there. Pookie! Timo Pookie! Pookie! Oh, oh, great defending. defending. That's not actually Pookie. That's the other fella. Arun Jura. Oh, yeah, it was. Or Purin. Look how he's all got blonde hair. I know. So you think it's Pookie? Um, Good block, that. Jeremy Hickson says, Robbie, let's get a reggae performance at half time. Big up from Canada. Yeah, man. Yeah, Crucial Alex, Robbie. Line up yourself, man. No, man. Line up. Alex, get, get, get the after mic up his, for Robbie. After I heard his Jamaican accent the other day. <laughs> Don't even try and make uh, me do that again. Uh. Or oh, we can get some more Jamaican stories from Nicky. I want to hear that Jamaica story. I, yeah, I you don't want to hear any it, Jamaican story. I wasn't out there long enough to have any stories, to His be fair. Stories, um, My old man's got a good story about Jamaica as well, too, so. you know, Balling from Finland. Finland are playing all right, you know. Nicky's uh, stories, mate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the we'll story, the, sto the Poland <laughs> story that they're talking about, yeah, is um, just in a nutshell, really. We went out for a, like a, a lad's weekend out in Poland. And, uh, is this a stag do? No, it wasn't a stag do. It wasn't a stag do. Just, just some, some friends of ours that used to work in a, uh, for a furniture company, they, they came from there. So it's like, you've got to come out there. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Like, know the local culture and all of that sort of stuff. 
um, really good night out, etc., etc. We got out there first night. We got out there. We we'd all been working from about 4 a.m. to to be able to m make our yeah, flight because yeah. we're all going from the same warehouse. We're going for the weekend out there. So the boss said, "All right, you can start a couple of hours earlier, and we'll let you go a couple of hours early to catch your flights and all that." So we've done all that. So we get there. So it's really lively in the square, but we're all shattered. You know what I mean? We've been grafting since four. And he's like, right go to bed like have a couple of drinks tonight go to bed um get up tomorrow we'll, we'll be on it all day we couldn't get a drink the next day long story short the pope was there <laughs> we didn't know and um he was doing some talk in the square the, 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 the square was thousands of people but they can't sell alcohol within a 20 mile radius of where oh, he is oh, oh, and he was yeah. there all weekend <laughs> <laughs> Big up oh the Pope, man. Days. The Pope shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> 20 miles. 20 miles, yeah. <clears throat> or 12, 12 or 20, it was something like that. <laughs> we had to go to a, the next town. And um, I don't know if you've ever seen the film Euro Trip. You ever seen Euro Trip? No. It was like that. It was like when they, they walked for a town called Bratislava. Oh, I, heard, I know oh, Bratislava. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, walked for a, a country called Bratislava and it's like really run down and all that sort of stuff but it's typical like you know like yeah. typical what you see in in eastern europe like all run yeah, down yeah, factories yeah. and all that i thought it was like some hostile situation i thought we was going to be in trouble um <laughs> but they're probably really friendly it. best club i've ever been to in my life in wow. the underground of this industrial estate wherever it was the, the finest club and um Long story short, I, f I thought I'd, it was the days before internet banking and stuff, so yeah. you couldn't, it wasn't quite as easy to get money transferred over. And I only took like 300 quid or whatever. When in this club, I was drinking, I was buying people drinks and all of this sort of thing. And I uh, woke up in the morning and I thought I'd done all my money and I thought I'm going to be in trouble here if I've done all my money. I'd spent 20 quid <laughs> for the whole night. Wicked. 20 Yeah, quid. 20 pounds. Pick up the Pope. Big up the Pope, yeah. Big up the Pope. You probably man. saved you a few quid because you went uh, to the cheaper town next yeah. door. The McDonald's was dearer than the night out. I went, <laughs> went and bought a few people McDonald's the next day and it was, uh, it was more expensive. This guy's he's taking a trouble. nasty down. fall, by the way. Look at this one. Yeah, role. yeah, it was a horrible fall. He's, he's falling from some distance here. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice ball, that. This is a fall out. It's a clash of heads. He's almost behind himself nice. when he's, he falls. He sort of fell back on his On his shoulders. Oh, he fell on his back, sort of thing. No, but his arms were like. Behind him, yeah. Stretches on. He could have broken on. his fucking back there, you know. Collarbone. Stretches on. The thing is, it's natural when you're landing like that to put your arms back. Yeah. When you're probably mm. better off just to, to like flatten them out. Mm. Like the old wrestling bump, as they say. You know, like they take the bumps, like. That was that Fernandez. Oh, shit. It's like yeah. it's coming off. You've yeah. already got a sub on, yeah, it's coming off. Fair play to the <coughs> But isn't there a lot of countries one. you go to, Nicky, right, where you have a preconception Dave? of. Well done, Dave. Well done, Dave. Dave. Uh, Buen trabajo, oh, well, David. I mean, that, that's not the German flag. Well, well, I know, he's, he's swapped them around. He's swapped them. Oh, okay. Don't worry, the Germans. The German flag yeah, is Yeah, you're well represented. You've got your flag back If up. it falls again, it's Dave's fault. Yeah. You can all get on him. <laughs> Blame Dave. Um, Dave out. Yeah. I, you know, so, yeah, you go to a lot of countries and there's like a preconception before you go there. Like, the, the biggest one for me was when I went to Russia. It was like everyone was saying to me, Robbie, don't go. Racism. The, there's all violence. Kind of violence. Places run down. Listen, man, that place is not run down, man. That place is uh, Russia yeah. was advanced. When you go to Moscow, Moscow's like any other city in Europe, right? It's nice, and you know, I really enjoyed. It. I really enjoyed my trip over there. Huge country, though. Huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huge. So big. To be fair, Huge. I, I, uh, I didn't go to Russia. We we had a chance to work with someone over in Russia. It was going to fly us all over there. Um, and my missus begged me not to go because of the, yeah. And I had to make a decision. I had to, you know, I was, I was like, should I go? Should I not? And in the end, she was, she just weren't having it. She's just like, no, look, this is it's a bit dangerous over there. I had a new, like my son was only six or seven, and he didn't want me to go either. Mm. So I just had to make the decision not to go. Probably worst decision I've ever made. Yeah, People brilliant. saying it's one of the best World Cups oh, I've ever been brilliant. to. People were so friendly. Yeah. 
they put their best foot forward for that. You know, really, you know, and some of the places that I went to, you know, they were really nice and yeah, I had a good time, man. I went to an international game in Poland. Mm. What was that like? Oof. Sticky. Sticky. <laughs> the ultras were England, up. England, Poland? No, it wasn't England, it was Poland. Uh, what happened was we, carrying on from the story, I missed my flights coming home. There's always something on your story. Yeah, yeah, was, they, we missed our flights coming home. They changed the flights last minute and we didn't get the email because mm. we didn't have internet reception. So when we got to the thingy, they, they was like, look, um, only you can, there might have been six of us, only four of you can go home. Or only three of you can go home. Um, that's all we've got the room for on the flight. So the rest of you are going to have to wait another like five days. Five days? Five but days. But some of the boys there, oh, oh, made a chance there. He's in. It's number 20 in. again. No, ah. I bottled it. Too much time, man. Not quick enough. Yeah. Is that last night? If that had been Mbappe, he's just a goal. That was yeah, it was because of the pace. Um, yeah, so we had to stay there. So one of the local boys stayed with us, and he was like, they uh, saw that tickets. Like they sort of. There's a club there called Kat Katowice, or or, or Vishla Krakow was one called Vishla Krakow, and my mates mates sort of run the club. So oh, we was going all through, like a. Uh, Mm. behind the scenes looking at the ballroom and all that sort of thing and he's like oh there's an international game tomorrow in like what I can only describe as a park it's like a massive park and uh, it was like a ground in the middle of, they was playing Colombia and um, Poland Colombia Poland Colombia yeah um, and my, my friend took me inside and, and the gates were like outside this park it was, it was, wait a minute no roof no nothing right so he says to me, uh, he gets me in there, and I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, but with Poland scarf, you know, like the tourist thing. He went, once you get in, be quiet. I went, why? And he's like, they don't want to hear your accent here. <laughs> I thought, what? Where have you brought me to? So I want to watch it back, and he just said, just, you, you're good with me, but not too much of this, yeah? I was like, okay. They was just, they're just crackers, these people, man. They're just crazy. The, the ultras, and all, I was right in amongst all the ultras. Fucking hell. And it was, yeah. It's uncomfortable. I just, yeah. I just sat there like this. <laughs> Colombia won two 0 when the goalkeeper scored. From the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper scored. Yeah, so it wasn't what, like Allison. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, it didn't come up. It was from a from oh, goal kicking his hands. Yeah, like from his own area, and he kicked it and lobbed the <laughs> keeper. I, I don't know whether it was Chesney. It might have been Fabianski. Even. <laughs> chance. Um, oh, always a chance. Oh, oh, he's missed the header. That big fella. He's a bit useless. Yeah. Not so they weren't, like. they weren't happy, so I just... Yeah, I think them was those sort of places to watch football. Uh, Massive Legend says, uh, big up Robbie, Nicky and Alex. I'm playing the R Soccer Euro uh, Predictions Tournament and I've been losing unicorns like crazy. Unicorns? Unicorns. Um, and uh, Tusha Roy says, hopefully India playing the 2026 World Cup. Yeah, India should have a good team there, you know. If they chose, what's the venues? Have they chosen more venues for World Cups now? I'm not sure, you know. I can't believe it's a winter one. It's going to be crazy, yeah. isn't it? That's a joke, man. And uh, Real Koza says, do you think Greedish will start, Robbie? I hope he does. I'd like to see him start. I, do you think he's going to just go with the same team? I, I nah, must, I think he's going to change, see him mix it, up a change bit. it up a little bit, yeah. yeah. See more attacking line -up. I want mm. to see a more attacking lineup. Yeah. Got three points in the bag, have a go. I don't think we need two sitters against Scotland. No. 2026 um, World Cup, Kieran Stevens says, in USA, Mexico, and Canada. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course it is, yeah. Now, that'd, that'd be, be a good that'd one. That'd be man. good. We should go. I'm going. I'm going, mate. I'm there. Yeah, that'll be a good yeah. one, that. Mexico. Uh, Ros Dog Eleven says uh, Sterling deserves to start again. You can't really drop him, can he? he scored it. No, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. If you actually look at his goal involvements mm. for England in the last 19 games, I think he's got like 17. Yeah. Which is the most out of any player in our team right mm. now. So, the stats say that Sterling is a no-brainer, but for yeah. some reason people think he does always play well for England. It's just that he's had a bit of a dodgy season for City. Yeah. Um, SM26 says Nicky needs to do a book on his life. Interesting, laugh out loud, he says, from, from the jet ski story. <laughs> the jet ski story? These jet ski story, that bit when you said when they were walking across the tarmac. The tarmac, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. 
He's got some stories in, I'll tell you. Jet ski you story, <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, I've got a good Thailand story, but that will have to stay. Is that stay. not for Oh, there's oh, a chance he's, he's in again. Oh. Again, too hesitant. Oh, what a miss. Too hesitant. Wow. In front of goal they are. Wow. Um, Josh Sasha says, uh, do you think Maguire will start if he's fit in the England game? No. No, I don't think he will. You know, I think they shouldn't have bought Maguire. I've seen this so many times before. You know, we've seen it with Beckham and Rooney. Do you know and what? Their players are injured. Just leave my own, man. Rob, Rob Give it if it was a Beckham or Rooney, I'd understand. But it's Harry Maguire. I don't think he's... You know, he's a good player, he's a but he's not, yeah, he's not the player. He's our best defender. Smeg. Best centre-half, isn't he? I don't think there's much in it, though. Smeg, def- yeah. I don't know. I think Stones is a better centre-half. No, I don't. I don't. I think Maguire. And Mag- when Maguire's played for England, he's played well. Yeah, he's he's, no, you're correct. Stones yeah. can be a bit... One game he's great, and then the next game, man, boy, he makes a load of mistakes. He had a really good season, though. Stones. Yeah, he did, to be fair. Yeah. Weren't great in the final though, the Champions League final, was it? He was, you know. It's a good dynamic because Stones is, is he could be a good ball playing defender. Mm. And the, the, I think the best partnership we've had for England for a long time was, was Terry and Ferdinand. Mm. Because you had the, you know, the solid unit. Terry, yeah, and, and then you had the, you know, the classy yeah. sort of. Hansen center. and Lawrence. Yeah, mm. yeah. You have to get Liverpool here. Yeah. No, it's always <laughs> a good dynamic to have someone that can play out from the back yeah. like that. Rio was one of the best I've ever seen to, to do yeah, that. Yeah, good. Class. That West Ham Academy, mate, it's just unreal. West Ham, I've got a lot of, you know, thanks mm. from a lot of people, really, the yeah. players that they've birthed. Southampton Academy for you, like it? That's a Yeah, I mean, but we're bringing, bringing a few some nice cards. players of our own now. Is it? Who I really am a huge, huge fan of Curtis Jones, like, I really am super, you know, excited to see where his career can go. I thought he was Welsh at first. No, no, uh, Nico Williams is Welsh. Yeah. And Harry Wilson. But Curtis Jones, Scouse boy coming through. Obviously, Trent has only really been in the team for the last four years, but he's Mm. pretty much completed football since then. Um, He's done all right, hasn't he? Yeah. I was on the Redmen ages ago, and um, we played them a few seasons before when you first bought Robertson. Mm. And I pinpointed them. I said, these two are going to be superstars. I've done pretty good with my Liverpool predictions over the years, to be quite honest, yeah. My dad's got a bit of a soft spot for West Ham. I, I like Liverpool as a team. I know a lot of people don't, like, don't, don't share that, but I, I've always enjoyed watching Liverpool yeah. play football. I, I'm a football man, and I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm always very respectful. I'm not, you know, I support West Ham. I've got nothing to to sort of like puff my chest out and that, but I'm proud of my football club and I know that they're proud of theirs. And I think you always get a... Um, That's a good ooh, throw, man. Ooh, nearly threw that right in the yeah. net. Or Shaughnessy. Respectful. Um, yeah, I think when you get... Or well, Tottenham. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't show... Yeah, all right, yeah. No, I don't show respect to people that don't show respect to anyone else. They're yeah. the worst. Do you know what? I have to say, one of the last games before COVID, we played West Ham at Anfield and mm. I was there. I think we won 3-2. You were 2-1 up. I think Fornell scored and the uh, yeah, 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 from yeah. a corner. Yeah, And yeah. that game, the banter that was flicking across between the West Ham and it was brilliant. It was one of the best like back and forth I've had with fans. Yeah. Just? Oh. Um, and no, I think they <laughs> said they were singing with 2-1 up at Anfield or something and then it went 3-2 to us and we were giving it back. But it was honestly, we all left there thinking, you know what, West Ham fans, fair fucking play. Yeah, no, we don't really get that when we go there. <laughs> you, just get, uh, you, know. you just get yeah, no, no. metaphorically your pants pulled down and get a good spanking every time. Nah, listen, we've got a good record at West Ham, man. Huh? Oh, no, I know, I was talking right about then. Anfield. Was I talking about Anfield? <laughs> I was talking about West Ham. Right? And I, now I don't like Liverpool, no. <laughs> right? But oh, uh, no, I've, I've got to say this, right? I was watching the streams the other day and I see Lee and, 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 and them. And, oh, yeah. And they were talking about, about that. that. No, well, I don't. Talking I, about what? I don't, the Harry Kane, will oh, you Harry Kane. would you celebrate if yeah. Harry Kane scored? Come on, if you can't leave your bias at the door, you've got something wrong with you, I think. Like, Lee, you've got something wrong with you. you no, that? no, that, and that goes for D, <laughs> DT as well. I think DT was here the other night when I yeah, was Yeah, but he's it. got something wrong with him, isn't he? So we know that already. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> like... Me put, listen, I was at the World Cup, Harry Kane scored, I celebrated. 
don't know why you were... Oh! Oh, he's, oh, and he's run straight into the post as well. He's oh. injured himself. He should have scored. Oh, he's injured himself. He runs straight into the post. More injuries that again in this game. should have been a goal. Do you remember the field should have scored. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm. That was a hell uh, of a Josh Sashar says, I show respect to West Ham and he's a Man United fan. Um, good defending. Actually, good defending. Oh, oh he got oh, kicked in the face. Look at it. Booted in the head there. He got kicked in the face. So look, the guy hits the post. Oh. And, it, <laughs> and then he's caught one right in the face. Look at that. In Boom. The, in the kiss eye, look. It's all accidental. Oh, it's the top of the head, actually. It's not yeah, too bad. Top of his head. Stud, I thought son. it was his face, though. No, Give me his, a cut. I think it was the mm. lever, not the studs. Oof. Yeah, top of the boot. Bug. He's yeah. lucky if that had been a bit lower, man. I'll tell you. Has he done that on purpose? No, nah, he's trying to get out of the post, isn't he? Look, he's running into the post. He's trying to get... He's, re- he's just he's rebounded. He's trying to spin round to oh, get away from the post. Fucking hell. That's completely accidental. I tell you what, Rob, some of the injuries we've seen in this yeah, tournament already. Head it's injuries, a really going for it. That's why in these falls. games, man, they're, they're having a go, you know what I mean? But go, yeah, go back to what you're saying. I, listen, in the World Cup, I, I, it was full of Tottenham players. I hated the fact that it was full of Tottenham players. Yeah, you had loads. I wanted yeah, England to win. That, yeah. Deli yeah. Ali. Was it was Deli Dyer. Ali, Trippier, Dyer, Kane. at the end Kane. of the day. You know what huh? I mean? They're representing the country. They're not representing yeah. Tottenham. I know you, that you hate them and all that, and I've seen... Obviously, the video of Lee, you know, because that Kane does that thing. I don't like all of that when he does oh, when that he thing. I think, in. yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. But you know, when it comes to the summer, leave your bias at the door. Yeah. And just. But that's the bit he finds hard. He says, "How can I go from slagging someone off to nine months to getting behind them and supporting them?" But Lee's very old school like that. <laughs> but it's, it's different, isn't it? It's different. I mean, let's be. I mean, why are you slagging him off for nine months? You only blamed twice. You know what I mean? Just. Just don't, leave it at the door just there. Don't be obsessed with no, it. No, no, we've still got in between to slag him off as well. Okay. We've still got to see him, haven't we? Playing, um, winning, yeah, scoring goals. Um, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, um, I, I, f- I think it's almost like it's a. Actually, no, it's not. Because I was thinking maybe this is a unique thing to England, right? With the way fans are. Where, but I don't think it is because when I was chatting to uh, Parisian London yesterday, I said to him, I go, if a Marseille player, he's like, yeah, oh, yeah. He's like, I wouldn't really, he goes, I wouldn't celebrate. I think we all say this, said. we all say all this stuff with the loyalties in our heart, we know our team, but when it came down to it, if Parisian London sit, sitting there watching France in the final, and I don't know, let's say Payet scored in the final, I know he's not in the squad mm. anymore. There's no way he's, he'd not be celebrating, celebrating, he's celebrating, mate. He'd be going mental if Pai scored the winning pen to win the Euro. But what? OK, let's put it this way then, right? England get to the Euro final. It's the 90th minute. It's nil-nil. England nil, France nil, right? Saka goes through, yeah? And he could, he, he's got a tight, tight angle to shoot from to win the game, right? Kane's standing there. Saka squares it to Kane and Kane taps it in. What's he doing? Lee, what's he doing? Is he celebrating? He'd be pissed off at Saka. Probably crying. <laughs> He'd be like, why'd you square him? Saka, 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 Saka can't score, right? He can take the shot on, but he can't, it's, it's unlikely that he's going to score. Kane's standing there for a tap. It's a bit like what Kane did when he should have passed When he should have yeah, passed yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> um, LFC Aaron says, um, Aaron says, uh, always like listening to Mickey. Yeah. Respect. He said the jet ski story he was telling us about was horrible. All the best, pal. It was you horrible. still ain't heard a jet ski story, no. I'm telling you. I got some, yeah. do you know what? I'm gonna find don't, don't, some. Fo- I'm gonna find some photos of the aftermath. Don't, I don't want to see them no, photos no, after no, the way no, you they're, described they're it. They're not. They're not. No, they're not. No, like that. I don't want. I don't know if I want to. I need a warning before, bro. No, you, they're not that bad. No, I know you're. A bit, I know you're a bit screamish, man. Yeah, I am. You don't want to hear. I don't want to no, see no, some it's, it's nothing of the injury. I've never posted anything like that, but. What's the picture of you on a jet ski? It's a picture of me in, in a wheelchair. Oh. Jet skis. How long was you in the wheelchair after it? Oh, no, I was only in a wheelchair in Jamaica. I was in, osp- in and out of hospital for six months after I come back. I had two casts, two full casts, like bottom of my body. And this was in Jamaica? But this was just, yeah, yeah. On a jet ski? I almost crashed a jet ski once in, into my dad. Yeah, man. <laughs> what is the sort of thing that happened there? As we were, we Someone, were driving like this and then we had to miss each other last second. Well, somebody didn't miss him. They he drove me. it right into it. Where was this in Jamaica? Where, whereabouts? 
Uh, Falmouth. Falmouth, yeah. Nice place. There's a Falmouth in uh, down the south west coast near yeah. Cornwall as well. A lot of these places where when the British were in Jamaica, aren't it? They named it after. Yeah. Yeah. Places and that. It's like Kingston. Mm. Oof. It's Kingston. What was? What other place in Jamaica that I'm named after? A few. Isn't there a Manchester? Place? Is there? Is a Manchester in Jamaica? There's a Montserrat, isn't there? In Jamaica, Montserrat's a country. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, it's, we're seeing, isn't that's that where country um, got hit by a volcano once. That's where Black the Ripper died. Mm. Chance. It's a chance here for Russia. Got to shoot there. Oh. What is he doing? Been poor, really, Russia. Really poor. Really. Final third, both teams actually. I'm not gonna lie, they don't deserve Especially to be Russia. going through at this rate. Yeah, there's a Manchester, there's a Falmouth, there's a where else? So that was me when I got got to Jamaica. Mm. Big Nick. <coughs> and that was me the, the day after oh, the accident. Bloody hell. bloody hell! What year was that? 2007? Like you've got two wooden legs in that place. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, man. Bloody hell. You been back? No, never. And that was me at the airport. <laughs> 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 I like the app. Yeah, it was, it was a tough time, man. Tough. The, the thing is, is oh. it I was quite tackle. muscular in the legs, so my, my legs were held together by my, my, um, my muscles, like there, because I, I play football now. Mm. And I actually, right, my mate Scott, he, um, I, was, I was really badly hurt, but I, we didn't know the extent of, the, of, of how hurt I was. So he went out one Right, we're back here on um, the Don Robbie channel. Apologies for that. Um, a bit of an internet dropout. In the meantime, whilst that happened, Russia actually scored a goal. We were all sitting here thinking, these will never score in a million yeah. years. <laughs> and then they scored an absolute worldie. It's 1-0 to Russia. It's half time in the game. Uh, Russia won, Finland nil. Uh, it's a great goal, wasn't it, Nicky? Fantastic finish. What a finish. Tucked in with his right, curled it in the far corner with his left. Yeah. No, no chance for the keeper. World class finish, I think. As Where did that come from? Because they didn't look like they were going to hit a barn door, didn't they? It's funny, 30 seconds before that, the typical commentators curse us three sitting here going, that big lump up top, he's rubbish, they're never going to score a goal. No, he's still rubbish because it he's, weren't he's even He's still rubbish, to be fair, but he did, <laughs> he did get the assist for that. Um, and yeah, like, like Nicky said, brings it in on his left. As soon as he hits that ball, it's a goal. Yeah, mm. yeah. There's no way the keeper's saving that. So, um, two shots on target, one goal. It's probably a bit unfair on, on reflection on Finland, just because I'm still upset for them that that goal was disallowed. Mm. Maybe this would, would have been better to be one, one wall, one all, sorry. But if Russia win this, it makes the group very interesting. Mm. I, I see the stats. The stats are not favourable for Finland, but when you look at, I mean, Stats don't always tell the story of the game. I think they've both had, they've both struggled in the final third. There's been a yeah, quite Finland a few. Yeah, Finland you're right. They've been up in their half, but they ain't done nothing. But they ain't really. done I nothing, mean, too yeah. Too many touches. Then the defenders just win it back, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's one nil. Apologies that you missed that, <laughs> our reaction to it, which we, it was a good reaction because we, we were like, where did that come from? It was a great goal. Yeah. Um, but one nil. Hey, it's time for darts. 
right? Play dark. I eat, First I all, eat it earlier. You yeah, saw you me. Eat yeah. earlier. That's what they all say. I eat it earlier. You no, saw me. He did get me. He got bullseye. He got a bullseye. I eat earlier, Robbie. Did you see that? I have to say, I was watching last night. Kalechi. It was awful. Oh, he, he hit the wall three times. He really did. Right, he hit the wall three times, right. So three... First yeah. of all, yeah, there's three, so f there's the individual competition, which is one dark bullseye. Yeah. Get that bottle of champagne on 50 quid. And um, then there's the second competition, which is basically on that one, you go head to head against each other. It's just a bit of fun to see who gets the most. The sofa really stops you from getting yeah. a good angle on it. Right. Well, what angle do you want? You want to be over it? Oh, I want to be straight to it. That's All right, you can do that. Alex, oh, that's that. your bullseye one. So you can take that out. You didn't get that. Yeah. Uh, so you didn't make the bullseye, I'm sorry to say. Uh, Nicky's chance. I'm going to go. He hit it well, earlier. 50 quid, is it? 50 quid. He hit it earlier. Can he hit it now? Oh, not that's too not bad. Right. Skipped at the last minute. Not bad, but you didn't hit it, mate. Yeah, right? So, hit it, that's yeah. right. So what's right. this one now? So now this is the individual game where you go head to head against each other. Who's going first? So Sorry. you get three darts. Three darts, whoever gets the highest is the winner. Okay. Right, Nicky to go Nicky's first. Nicky's going to win this. Oh, five. 18. Oh, what's that? 27. That? 27. Yeah. No, it's 14, sorry. So 19. 33. 19. 33, 32. yeah. 32, sorry. 32? 32. Wretch, 3 2. Right, your go. 32. Can Liverpool turn over West Ham today? Can yeah, it can yeah, go? 12. 12. 12. 13. You need a big one. You need 19 or more. Ah, no. Nope. Oh, no. It's a victory for West Ham. Then. The 12s. winning run continues. You, unless oh, can Arsenal slip in you, and do something right at the end here? What's Arsenal going to do? Oh, triple nine. No. That's, triple That's a triple nine, nine man. What are you talking about? 27. 27. Oh, he's done 38. it. 38, yeah, he's done it. He's done it. So. Double two. Four. Come on, Arsenal, we're on our way back. We're on our way back. <laughs> don't know about that, man. In darts. Star horse. <laughs> <laughs> sneaked sneak in the last minute. Now. He sucked us all in. Oh, Let's look see. at that double, double 20. 20 <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Nobody's hit that bullseye yet, man. That's the thing. Um, DT it after 722 <laughs> for a day. Did you see how many chances he took on it? Yeah. It was crazy. But yeah. um uh, yeah, still 1-0. Um 1-0 at half time to Russia and uh, Russia really need to win this game. And I, I you know I guess you guys did see the goal at home. It was an unbelievable goal. It really was one one of the better goals of the tournament so far, Alex. Yeah. Like we said, it was very reminiscent of Robin what Robin would do, or Salah, someone who cuts in. Um, yeah, that is a Salah type goal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, great goal. Um, He's never scored one like that. LFC Aaron says, what do you three guys make of your team's opening Premier League fixtures? We did talk about that earlier. Um, I think these two guys are quite happy with their start. I'm not happy with Arsenal's start. That is a difficult start. Um, if you want to know my thoughts, I've just uploaded a video on the Cop TV. So watch that after. There you go. Um, what else have we got here from you guys? Uh, they're talking about a lot of Aston Villa apparently bidded for Emil Smith Rowe. Wow. 25 million. Wow. They're getting cheeky. Man. Wow. They're not mucking about, are they? To wow. Buende, Buendia. Flipping cheeky, man. It's turned down, by the way. 25 um, mil. Wow. Anthony says we're eating all the wrong food there. Well, why don't I you agree. send some food for us then? You know what I mean? And we'll eat what you think. What, what, should, what should we have? He's probably right, actually. Who's that? Which Anthony's that? Huh? That We're going to have to bring some healthy snacks. Yeah. Um, Joe Cheatham says West Ham going to get a beating off of Newcastle first game. Yeah, we didn't do too well against him last year, to be fair. Ask Alex about Suarez at Liverpool, says Sheldon. What about him? Just oh, just awesome. Was. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. When I'd see him in person as well, just unbelievable. Like, never had a bad game for Liverpool. Who's in better, Suarez or Torres? My heart says Torres, but my head says Suarez. Because I like Torres more as a Liverpool player, because he never brought us no trouble. 
Mm. Whereas Suarez was a little shit bag, so. <laughs> but he was our shit bag. And there was a few things that he did that obviously we can't excuse at all. And that definitely dims it for me. I think if you're a good person as well, yeah. and you're a great player, for instance, Jordan Henderson for me, like what he's done off the pitch and what he's done on it for us, I'll love that man till the day I die. Ten years, but Suarez, ten years he's been Ten there. years at Liverpool now. But Suarez, I don't know, man. That's an uh, unbelievable player at Liverpool, but we all know what he was like off the pitch and on it as well sometimes. Good head of that from Michael Richards. <laughs> he was a good little player. That is cheeky from Aston Villa, though. Been in for Do you one know why round. they've done that, though? Because yeah, they've not been cheeky. able to get Buendia yet. Or have they got... No, Buendia, they, they, they yeah, secured Buendia. So they're trying to... They're taking on, how many piss. number 10s do they need? Buendia, Smith, Rowe and Grealish. I think they're sending a sign to us. So yeah, we're bigger than you lot now. And Emi Martinez is there as well now. Taking the bloody mick. Anyway, the players are back out on the pitch. The second half is about to get underway. Um... I need to charge this. I'm starting to run out. You got a charge over there, innit? I saw you with a little charge. I need a wire, not the plug thing. Yeah, you got a wire. Yeah, you can plug it in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, my phone's a bit moving a bit low as well. Thank you. Yeah, I might have a bit little little beer. Yeah, you know, is there any soft drinks there actually? I'm not ready for a beer yet. Pepsi. Well, did Pogba well, take it away? Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo got rid of it. And all the Heineken's, I know the Heineken's have gone. Now they've got though. rid of all of those as well. It's nice and cold. And a packet of crisps. Let's have a packet of crisps. What do you want? Not them fiery. No. What's up with this fiery stuff? So you don't want the no, 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 no. Just so give me that already sorted. Um, Ridge cut side. Dude. Yeah. There's about four so crisps. You like in fire, there. don't you? This guy <laughs> likes, see, I mean, he brings f everything's well, like either fiery or. 100% proof these, drink or yeah, something. Man. It's these dons that live in Southgate. I need man. to, we need to have a serious look at this guy, you know what I mean? He's, he, he likes extremities. Whew. Pepsi Max, no sugar. Laurie in the <laughs> cup with us as well. How are these packets so flat? I know, man, nothing in them. Literally nothing in them. Yeah, them you can see why Ty gets through ones. so many packs. Ty eats about nine packs. There is literally days. nothing in this. Right, the second half is underway. This is a big half for uh, both teams. Come on, Pookie. Russia, they need to hang on for this win. It'd be a massive win for them. Finland, get a draw out of the game. They're still looking oh, for good for getting through nice. to the next round. Yeah. Go on, Todd, lad. It was Lord. a lovely bit of skill there by him. It was, wasn't it? I really like their kit, you know. I think it might be the waviest of the, uh, the competition. I think Portugal's last night was pretty fucking I like that Portugal well. one, yeah, I like that one. And did you notice, for a long time, haven't they? Ronaldo was wearing the long sleeve version. And long sleeve kits are like a thing of the past nowadays, because mm. all the players, they wear short sleeves with the under, under armour. Yeah. So to actually get a long sleeve shirt is so, so rare. Mm. Go yeah, on, chuck nice. them and I'll put them down. You like the Finland one? Nice, isn't it? I like it. I like it. What's the best kit then? What are the Euros? Mm. Like France's is nice. Portugal's Germany is away, good. all black. I like Portugal. Ooh. Germany's got like a blackout kit. Yeah, that's yeah, a beaut, that's that a one. nice kit. But I like this Finland kit as well. Yeah. The England blue one? Yeah, it's a nice one. Not too one. keen. Yeah. No? No, it's all right. Switzerland's got a decent kit as well, I think. Theirs is always pretty similar, though, isn't it? I mean, mm. listen, all international teams are always similar. Brazil are ne never going to have a red kit, are they? Mm. But it's how you make it look a little bit different each time. To be fair, England's is, is good. The home kit's good. It's very similar to this, actually. It's a bit boring, isn't it? That's, uh, this That's is like the old-school England kit. Yeah, this is a little something I did with um, Umbro and Carling. A little advert and that, where if you find a golden can of Umbro, sorry, of Carling, you can win this shirt, basically. Oh, really? Did you find a golden can? No, I, was, I actually did the advert. Oh, you did so the advert? Yeah. How did you find it? No, because I don't drink Carling. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> Only joking. Love it. Great drink, so keep it coming. God, it looks serious, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like Mr. Pringles, man. 
He does a bit actually. The Russian well, version. I'll be honest with you, we, we've got Umbro. Umbro's our kit supplier. They've come out with some really good kits of late. I've just, they've just released the training stuff. And they've changed the logo, the Umbro logo for the, for, do you know the old school pro, do you remember the, the, the it's sort of multi-layers pro training? Yeah. It looks awful. No, no, not really. No, it's very old school, mate. But they've come out with some nice kits of late. Like last year's away kit was a banger. And the year before yeah, that... It was like your old school West Ham kit. Well, no, no. The, the, the one I'm talking about was the, the black one, all black kit. With oh, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a really nice kit. And the, the, the year before that, we had a white kit. Um, it's nice modelled right. off the 80 Cup final. He's through. Oh, he's through. Oh, he's through. Oh, he's through. Pookie, go on, save! Great defending. Oh, that's great. Corner, right? That's great defending, I think. He's saying it's a corner. Look at his long legs. Well, he's not oh, he's great done. defending. He's just got to take that away from the defender there. Oh, I don't know why he's That's a corner, that's a corner, surely. Yeah, yeah. That's surely a corner. He's got to be taking that onto his left. Oh, Look, here we go. Oh, it's a corner, it definitely is. Might great be a goal defending, kick. isn't it? Might be a goal kick, that. No corner for that. Yeah, goal kick. Look at this lump. He wants a header. Trust me, he looks like... He looks like he should be in the army, that guy, man. Sure. He really does. The guy who's just Big up to everybody who's joined us back on the stream, by the way. Mm. Um, you know, respect for you guys coming back. Um, apologies for the uh, little technical that we have, but we are back. We are back. Back again. Back again. Joy says, uh, Aston Villa are buying all these attacking mids. Does that mean that Gle Grealish is leaving? I don't... Chelsea have entered the race to sign him, offering them Ross Barkley. I think um, <laughs> I think Grealish goes to Man City. Yeah, if he goes anywhere. Oh, look at this now. Luki. <coughs> oh, Finland again. This is poor, it's opening man. Up. It's just a They're little just not, bit just slow. not good enough up front, are they? No, the, the touches aren't there. That's, that's, a, that's a nice switch pass. Uh, again, though, it's too wide. Now he loses it so easily. That's a foul as well. Every time I see Finland play, I'm always reminded of that talk sport. Remember the talk sport interview? Oh, Anti Naomi. Anti Naomi, yeah. He's, oh, yeah. he's not finished. He's, he's not 20 finished. He's 28. <laughs> <laughs> no, he comes from Finland. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> he's not finished. He's 28. <laughs> That's a good it. Well, you know what? They're, they're, they're having a go, Finland, but it's in games like this you see when you've got that lack of quality up front. I think Pookie's had a bit of a poor game. Yeah, I think, I think that's what I think that's why a lot of like Premier League clubs didn't take him when Norwich went down. Mm. It's because he gets himself into them positions. He just takes that little bit too long. Like mm. uh, in that position mm. now, a top quality striker would have took that onto his left mm. and took the defender out of the, uh, out of the yeah, equation, yeah, yeah. where he's trying to hit it early. Oh, he's going to try and curl another one. Ooh, Ooh that, that worked far. That worked far away. That's a good effort. That was a strike, that. Well, yeah. It's a good game. It's what we were saying earlier. These games that everyone just writes off as... Uh, the worst game in the Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. Sweden. Yeah. The only nil-nil of the tournament so far. Mm -hmm. the Conservative on. Tears I says... I tuned in last night to Don Robbie. The first thing I saw was you eating a pizza on that sofa. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing that popped off of my screen. I was like, Conservative oh. Tears says, uh, Robbie, what do you think about hungry fans chanting homophobic slurs at Ronaldo yesterday? Will they never learn that hate makes Ronaldo just more motivated? I That's was wondering true. why, obviously, we have the sound now, we're watching the game. You could see Ronaldo really gave it to them when he scored that penalty, you know? Yeah. Um, and They're, again, you know, just sort of stuff we don't want to see at football. The, same, the same with the racist stuff. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't think some of these countries will ever learn. No. Because I don't think UEFA take it seriously enough. And I don't think, you know, some of these countries like FAs and that take it seriously enough. Mm. When you look at, you know, the Rangers situation. Um, oh, yeah, with uh, Glenn Cameron in this yeah. game. Yeah. And he's playing, yeah, he's Glenn, playing oh, yeah, yeah, Glenn Cameron's yeah. playing in this game, yeah. Um, that guy getting like know, a nine-game ban? You, you're talking about so low games about like it should be seasons mm. for this sort mm. of thing you've got to set 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. But yeah, with a super six thing, they took that seriously. But you know, I, mean, it, like, I don't. I don't. Think... Through now, it's Puki for again. Go on, Puki. Oh, he done well. Now's the chance. He hit it straight at him. He did so well to get round him. Should have got his strike off better. You'd expect a bit better than there. He did well here. Cut inside, left him on the floor. I mean, the, the defenders made it a but bit just easy. Oh my god! The Germany flag has come down again. Germany flag's gone down again. This is not Dave, looking good, Nicky, mate. He's going to be fuming, Dave. <laughs> now. Oh my um, days. Bert says, Dorobi, can you get Speedo Mick on a watch along? I'm sure Speedo Mick's doing he's a walk doing at the moment. He's doing his walk right now. He's doing he's his walk right now, mate. Hey. Trust me. I, I don't glass. fancy if following him. <laughs> <laughs> he walks far, man. He does. Right. If his walk finishes by um, time, in time for uh, some of these games on here, we would definitely get Speedo Mick on. 100%. He was, he, there was, I know he's there was one time he walked through Christmas. Like I remember like beginning of November, in I was like, oh, he's gone on a walk. Yeah. He was still walking at Christmas. I was like, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're, we've no, we've just in his speed Just in his yeah. pants, yeah. He's like, he's like minus. He's guy's crazy. He's yeah. got to have come accustomed to it now. He's yeah, got that's it. I was asking him when he came on. I was like, how do you do it? And he goes, it's mental. He goes, it, honestly, he goes, it is so cold. It's all mental. Because you kind of, he, that guy's a he's a driven guy, man. He said to me that he went for a <laughs> <laughs> he went for a swim and just decided to swim in the English Channel. Yeah. Never with no never, training. A ne no training. I was nothing. there never, with you when he told me. Yeah, yeah. That. We did the stream with him. Never swam before, really. Yeah. Imagine right. that. You've never I've done swam a couple of lengths in the and pool then, yesterday, and man. Then he, oh. And then he did about six months training and then swam the channel. You guys, honestly. Yes. He's, he's big up to him, like. though, man. Um, big up Brad. He says, Don Ruby, can you check my last super chat? Where is it? I'll check it, Brad. <laughs> Not if um, it's a bait. If it's he's probably a bait, yeah. <laughs> probably a bait. Um... Oh, yeah, it says, big up, Don Robbie. Just wanted to ask, uh, what are your thoughts are on Daniel Ek taking over Arsenal? Also, Alex, what are your thoughts on Konate? Uh, boss content. Would love to see Daniel Ek take over Arsenal. So that's my one to that. That's and, a Spotify uh, guy. Yeah. yeah. And your thoughts on Konate? We get free music, too. Konate <laughs> was wearing an Apple Watch when he played for French under-21s about two weeks ago. Don't know what that was about. An Apple Watch. He was checking it halfway through the game. <laughs> he was doing his steps, getting his steps in. Yeah, but all the players, they've got those stat sport vests yeah, now yeah. that does all that for you. He might have wanted to check it against his checking own watch his, to make sure they're getting girls. it right. Yeah. I just thought that was a bit <laughs> his mad. His girlfriend I, was texting him. I doubt Jürgen Klopp well, is going to let another chance him. there for Finland. I've done. Chance! Oh, good block. Again, so great defending by the Russians. They really what, from are. from Apple? Yeah. Stickholm says, did you see Villa made a 25 million bid? Yes. I think we're right. Everyone's going on about that in the chat. That's come out of the blue, though, man. Villa making moves. They make, yeah, they're making waves, Villa. Mm. Nothing will ever beat when Arsenal, in the summer of 2013, bid 40 million and, and one pound. pound. And one you pound. You deserve everything you got. The actually, slags. actually, that deal should still have went through, you know. But yeah. Shit, what? Because that was the release clause. Yeah. Anything you know, else? that's not an unusual thing to do. Yeah, but if the player doesn't want to come, he doesn't. The player did want to come. Yeah, he wanted to come. Well, he got obviously. Gerard uh, had a word with him. Didn't obviously, he? he got persuaded after that, but he wanted. They only bid for him because they knew that he wanted to come. Yeah, he in, told in, him in he Suarez's come. book, he said like, "I was going to go Arsenal," and Gerard said, "If you have one more good year, with all due respect to Arsenal, you can go. You can get a Barcelona," and that's what he did. He had one, one yeah, of the so best. Yeah, but it wasn't uh, really. That means it weren't really kept there by you lot. Well, Gerard, just because of Gerard saying yeah. to you, yeah, but he had the best play well and you can go to Barcelona. But he had the best season ever that season, so he was right to stay. I almost won the league. Did Gerard put in his book out the? Uh, yeah, right, mate. No one needs to mention. The Scouse uh, yeah. gangsters got on to him and said, "If you leave, yeah, we'll oh. chop your legs off." Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, yeah come on. Well, we could have went down there. You should know about the word allegedly. Allegedly, so. allegedly. Pookie! Oh, 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 Finland. Finland really are. Give it, to, give, it, give it to Finland. They are really pushing. pushing, Alex. They are. They are. They um, have Callum to, said it's not an Apple Watch. Word 789 says Apple Watch promo. I don't know, man. I just thought it was strange to see. It could have been a garment. So you don't want to buy him because of that? No, no. You bought, bought him, him already. You bought him, man. It. No, listen, what a player. Maybe he's trying to check to see if the deal had gone through. Yeah. <laughs> Checking his bank account. He's got his but, um, no, ding, to be ding, fair, ding. He's he, gone through, yes. he does sound like a, a great player. I've seen bits and bobs. You know, when I've watched Leipzig. him play, yeah? he's, he's from RB Leipzig, isn't yeah. 
Him and Upper Mankana. He's good, it? yeah. He's a very physical player, but he's a little bit clumsy sometimes, man. Yeah, that's the only thing, but, he, but he's young. He's so. 22, isn't he? Yeah, he's young. I think so we've paid 30 something mil. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think Tyron Mings is as bad as people think. I think he's a good player. I mean, can be, yeah. listen, I think, name a defender that hasn't had a clumsy moment in their career. I'm getting all answers. Vidic different. did, Ferdinand did, Terry did, yeah, Carragher did. Rudra says, where do you see Arsenal finishing next season with your focus surely on the league? Seven. I, I'm concentrating on... <laughs> Uh, the Euros. I don't want to answer that Not right now. The Euros! I think they'll finish above Tottenham next year. Yeah, they will. I think because they don't have a no, Europa they, League... They ain't going to really be... No, I don't, they don't mean a lot, but... But yeah, I think could mean Tottenham are in trouble at the moment. Who's in the if Conference Harry Kane League goes again? Especially. Who's in the Conference League? Tottenham. Tottenham and a load of teams that I wouldn't even be able to pronounce. See, I would have been, see the thing is with, with Tottenham, they, you know, they're used to the Champions League of, of late, but... Like, so that's really hurt them. I would have been happy with a conference league. Me, I would have, I would have had a ball of a time. Would you? Yeah, I would have. Would yeah, of course I would have. We nearly got relegated last year. I would have, I would have, <laughs> taken, I would have taken that over anything. That's but, true. So it's Europa League on the ball. was like a bonus. Finishing above them was even... Yeah, so get a good, decent cross in. That is a good cross. Ooh. Ooh. So put some good crosses into the box, Finland. That's obviously uh, their weapon. That's good. another good that's ball. Another good ball. Yeah. That's side? another good ball. He's on side, is he? Here. Yeah, the chance Who's there, there spin and turn. No one's there to again, help Again, good defending again by no Russia. No one there to set the it Russian up for defense him. is standing firm. That's a foul. That is a foul, buddy. Yeah, with 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 Tottenham, probably the best team that's never done anything. Do you know what I mean? Like in terms of mm. quality of the squad, there was never. If I think, Kane I, goes, I think the Conference League, I think was was is going to be the straw that broke the camel's back with yeah. with in terms of keeping their talent. Because As Kane, yeah, Harry Kane, considered one of the best strikers in the world, right? And you're playing in the Conference League. I don't be think real, be real now. You yeah, know but, I mean? yeah, but, yeah, you, but you, Ronaldo never won the Champions League. No, but you so was yeah, but he was always he, in. He was he was in it. But I'm saying yeah. you as a player now, right? You, 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 you imagine, right? you imagine, you're Harry Kane. With, take out my the fact that I hate Tottenham, right? Take that out right. of it, right? You're Harry Kane, you're a professional footballer, you know, all your friends around you, like, they're all playing at I, the highest level, Champions League yeah, football every year, and then you're going to have to go off and play if it's some club in the Faroe Islands, come on, Charles, oh, that's a great a chance, big lump, another chance to curl it in, oh, that big lump it, is He's, he's going to be looking at it and saying, nah man, nah, nah, someone's nah, got nah. to be not, 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 not at my yeah. age, I've, I've waited long enough, to be fair, he's given, he's given Tottenham, he's he couldn't all. have done anything. He more. couldn't have done anything. do nothing more. else for him, can he? And if he goes, I don't think Son will be that far behind him, to be quite honest with you. No. I, I could see a Son plan for Bayern Munich. Him, Bayern Munich, I would think, could afford it. So you're telling Harry me Kane. from July, when this finishes, to August, Kane's going to leave Tottenham. Who's going to buy him? Yeah. I think, I think who think can you're afford going. him? Manchester City can afford Man him. Man City can afford him. Chelsea can afford him. I don't think they want to. goes to. They Man won't want to sell him though. to Chelsea, but. Man City, would PSG. He not Done, yeah, it must be. What, to City? And Kane, if he does Kane and Grealish to it, City, it, it, do you reckon they, they're they, both halfway done? He could go to a Definitely European Kane. club and they'll, they'll exchange a few players for him. Yeah. Because Kane, like, Kane, Kane is Kane Yeah. True. Any Kane, club Kane's, in the world a, Kane's the type Kane. of team, Kane's the type of player with his goal scoring record that can win you a league. Yeah. Uh, if, if Man United, I think, he, he, you know, they'll be in for him as well, I reckon. Um, Haywood says, uh, who are your dark horses to win the Euros, Nicky? Um, dark horses. I don't know whether Italy count as, as dark horses, really. Is no. it? No? Okay. Um, well, they do. Yeah. At the start of the tournament, nobody was saying they'd win it, so I think they still, they yeah, still count I, I, as a dark I horse. I said Italy, but if I was to look outside of like the, the, top, the top teams, um, Turkey. I still say Turkey. I know that's very poor. I had Turkey down as a dark horse part. I just couldn't. I, I, can't, I, I can't think of anyone else. Started a tournament. Had, had the Turkey. Down, they had no chance, mate, from what I saw the other day. <laughs> no, I, that yeah. dark horse thing has now Belgium? disappeared. Belgium and Turkey. They're not really a dark horse, though, are they? They're one of the favourites to win it. This. The thing is, well, it's a good ball. Oh, there's a lot yeah, of. They're the only team at the moment not to register a single shot in the world. Yeah. 
don't surprise me. Yeah, that Isaac had a shot, didn't he? I'll tell you what, though, I learned from the, the, the Sweden game the other night. Morata hasn't got any better from when he was in the Premier League. Oh, he, he was, he was dreadful. dreadful. Eric Sierra says, keep in mind, Arsenal like. are competing with Spurs for what a lump. Conference League spot. No, we're not. We don't want it. That big lump, just give it away. What do you guys then? think out there? Who are your dark horses? Um, Shikchar says Ukraine. Nah, nah I can't no see chance. Ukraine. English Fool says Russia. <laughs> Not what I'm seeing here. They've got no chance. Um, JR says Turkey is overrated. Holland dark horses. That's a, yeah. Yeah, because they're, they're a bit of dark horse. You, you wouldn't put yeah. them down as a favourite to win it or something. Germany's a dark horse. Yeah. I didn't think Germany were too bad last night. You, you know the thing is about Germany as well, right? You can't I, ever write. Germany. You could, I could see Germany. Germany can beat Portugal. And when you looked at, I looked at Germany yesterday, and I'm like, Gnabry, Leroy Sane, Müller. Ain't like they've got Havertz. crap players. They've still got, you know, yeah. Havertz, yeah, Werner on the bench. Yeah, I mean, they've still Hummels. got quality players. Hummels. So, you can, yeah, the, the thing is with Germany, you can never, they'll always turn yeah, up to the party. I'll tell you what, Even Germany, chance. Germany could be a dark horse because no one's giving them a chance this time. So they could be a dark horse. I don't think they will. Holland's, a, Holland's not a bad shout. Robbie, Russia completely bottling it on the edge of the box there, trying to pass yeah. it in, no one's having a shot. Bear in mind though, Finland are the ones that need the goal, not Russia. That's a foul. Um, Damien says, uh, Robbie, what do you think about the Macedonian Football Federation putting in a complaint to UEFA about Marko Natovic being racist towards Alioski after he scored? Now, he definitely said a load of stuff. And um, yeah, he's, 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 he's apparently been... He's apparently been banned for, for one game. And if it's racist, he maybe shouldn't even be in the tournament. He might not be. That's what I'm saying. He, to, to me, if it's a racist thing... Get a lot of that sort of thing. If it's a racist thing, he should be gone from the tournament. He, Simple as that. With them... It's Al Albanian, yeah. I believe. Um, Mikhail says uh, Denmark is a dark horse he's going. John Middleton saying Italy. Joe Findlay, Bader says Ukraine. Um, that's two for Ukraine. Hamza says Austria. Chase Bennett says Croatia. Okay. No. Um, the Czech Republic says Tom. Tom Beamer. Yeah, chic. Yeah. Um, what a goal that was. Rangers, easy okay, says uh, Czech Republic. Uh, football champ says Czech Republic. Chance. Oh. There's oh. a chance here for Russia. Ah. Oh. Just wide, just wide. That's agonising. Just wide enough. for Russia. Manrich says Italy. Dequan says Austria. Marcus uh, says England. Oh they don't even got a dark horse. They're considered one and two. Yeah. Could win. A dark horse. I think the definition of a dark horse is a team that, is at that the start of the tournament, nobody really gives them a chance of winning it. You'll talk about, you know, you always pick out like five, six teams and you go, yeah, maybe Portugal could win it. England could possibly win it. I reckon Anyone Belgium got a great really chance. Either. But it's that team that no one's really given a chance, yeah? Mm. That just emerges and then people say, hey, you know what? So that's why I was saying Turkey. Or Italy. I think Italy are dark because at the start of the tournament, remember they didn't qualify for the last World Cup. A lot of people were saying Italy dark horses. The talk's all been about France, isn't it? Yeah. Like people are like, yeah, France, France, are France, win. France, France, France. But there are teams mm. in there. Like you can never write Germany off. Never. Never. Even even if I they've lost Germany, their opening game. They're, like, think they're about a dark their tournament horse. record. They're the Liverpool of yeah. the, the And Euro. as I said, yeah. when you look at their team. <laughs> They've still got lots of quality there. Well, I, was, up front. I was looking at that team last night. And I was like, all right, fair enough. They lost one nil as well. They They've had get, the same. They get thrashed. Own goal. It's well. an own goal, right? And I'm just looking and say, it's the first game. They'll get better. It would not surprise me if they beat Portugal. Even in that game, for long periods of that game, Hungary were giving Portugal problems. It was only remember their first goals are like a deflected yeah. goal as well. Yeah. Deflected goal and a penalty, and then at the end, Ronaldo put I the icing on the Portugal cake. Portugal, one of the poorest. That was a bad performance. Oh, like, they won three 0 No, I mean, but it, uh, in terms of the last Euros when they won it, yeah, one 0 the whole way. Yeah, yeah, oh, they just scraped God. their way through the whole thing. I think Majib they won it says, with the uh, least Czech Republic. Scored. Majib saying the Czech Republic. Amalaya says uh, Austria dark horse, very oh, good team. Oh, 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 it's a chance here for Finland. See what too slow, doing? slowed it down, oh. and that's a. Oh. <laughs> 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 Slovakia says uh, Piedekman. To be fair, two strikers against three mm. centre backs. Slovakia. So 
Yeah, but he was too slow there. Yeah, he was. That is a wild shot. Look at oh, this. Nathan you don't want to mess with him. Fuck Nathan you know. says uh, German's team's very unbalanced. Moose says Sweden as his dark horse. I'm still um, Czech Nick, Republic. Miko says Czech Republic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what did he say? He said Czech Republic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This. Yeah. Thing is, you could get like um, a couple of results. Like people talk about France. A couple of results might not go France's way. Something yeah. might happen. They get, could get a man exactly. sent off, and they could end up out of the group. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So Danny Even says, if, game. yeah, if Germany had a prime closer, I think they would have drawn yesterday. They put um, it on France for a lot of the game. Yeah, I'm telling you. For a long period. And of I'm game. telling you, I, I've got a funny feeling they beat Portugal, and then that group's going to be wide open again. It's a, it is a bad group though, isn't it? Like, you it's the, it's the group of group. death. Yeah. It's the group of death, man. Especially, yeah, you know especially yeah, if you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the good thing about this Euros for them, isn't it? That is this the first Euros with this new format where yeah. three can go through? Yeah. Why do you think they've done it? Like Crypt T says uh, Switzerland. They're trying to keep all the big teams in by hook or by crook. Yeah, of mm. course. Uh, Elias says uh, big up. Don Robbie, shout out from shout out Somalia, East Africa. Big up the channel, big up Somalia, and Maybe big up to you, Elias. No, Somalia is not in Europe. <laughs> you need to go swift here in Europe. Alexander Norp yeah, says Alexander. Sweden. Um, Jasper Austin says Sweden. <coughs> Listen, if Sweden won it, I've got a PS5. Yeah. Well, there'd have to be some. Because so Sweden's as my team, I picked out of the app. No, there'd have to be some neutral. We mean some neutral judge there. Do you know what I mean? What, if, if Sweden won it? No, I'm really messing. Have you already got a, I bet you've already got a PS5. Though. He's got two or three, I yeah. reckon. Mind your own business, man. In different <laughs> locations. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you've already got one, you I've can always one, donate yeah. it. You know I, mean? I donate. I would donate. <laughs> Pookie. Got to cross that, Glenn. <laughs> that ball, that's the ball. Oh. oh! You well, see what they're doing now in the first yeah. half? After that guy headed that one in. Yeah, they've oh, so got off a good cross. Do they put some what? very good crosses in, haven't they? The thing is, there ain't a lot of quality. I'm going Nike town after this to get that shirt, man. Sure, I like that shirt. It's man. wavy. I like that shirt. It's the best shirt. It's wavy. Oh, oh, that's a good pull. There's another good Great cross. Ball. Another oh. good cross. Don't, don't hit them it. Russian, them Russian um, defenders going to have a headache at the end of this Go one. on, Glenn. Go on, Kamara. Go on, Glenn. Go on. Oh, he's fluffed it. Don't know what to do on the edge of the box, do they? Oh. Do you remember they used to have Mikel oh. Forcell and oh. uh, Good Johnson up front? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Good Johnson, that's what they could do with a Good Johnson today. Who? Finland. He's Icelandic. Icelandic. He was. Oh, yeah, he's Icelandic. Icelandic. Mikel Forcell was finished, though. Forcell was finished. Yeah, yeah. and Sammy Hupia. He weren't finished, he was 19. Hey! <laughs> God, Nicky's got jokes. All what right. a player Sammy Hupia was, by the way. I think we he bought him yeah. for. You keep saying that in every stream, innit? No, because we're talking <laughs> about Finland, oh, bro. Any excuse to talk about Liverpool players, eh? It's oh. like, it's like, Finland, right, right on our channel. Player. He says in every stream, I can't believe Sufau only cost five million. <laughs> five million, five million. <laughs> every time. He's been saying it for a year. Go on, there, for oh, it's a break. Two, yeah? Three on two, three on two for Russia, but he slowed it up. Oh, but he's had the pass, he's in. Goal. He's got a score, he's got a save. What a save. Great save. What a save. Brilliant save. Fredeki. Brilliant that, save by the Finnish keeper there. That looked in. Because that way. looked in. Yeah, he took his time with that shot as well. Yeah, he took his time, pricked his spot. It was a good strike. Good pass. And that is an unreal save. Brilliant. Harry, to be fair, Great save. The, their defenders back there, he should never have got that much time. Oh, That's a full great, stretch. Great, yeah. great save. Did you see they all went towards the ball? Yeah, that yeah. Off and, you know, bad Tired, isn't it? Zamir says, uh, no communication is, is, is a great Finnish player. Actually, I'm going to see if you guys Ooh. name another great Finnish player. Littmanen. Littmanen, yeah. Yari, Yari Littmanen. Littmanen. We had him as well. Zamir, Yari Littmanen. Yari Littmanen, yeah. yeah. He's one of the all-time greats, I think. Finn Roberts says, what a save. Finland. I mean, he came to us on loan in Jul January 01, I think. Yari Littmanen was a great player. Scored a pen against Barca in the UEFA <laughs> Cup semi-final. Who? Never heard of Jussi, him. Jussi Jaskalainen. There you Jussi go. Jussi Jaskalainen. Jussi Jaskalainen. He's a good player. You know that? Neverland. Mikel Forsell, we mentioned yeah, already. I said that. 
Go on, Pookie. It's a chance, and again, well did. I've got to tell you what. Uh, yeah, they've the two centre well. halves for uh, Russia, apart from when they got Look done. Look at his long legs. No wonder. Yeah, apart from when they got done in the first half of the offside they header. Finland, though. They've done brilliant. Oh, mate, come on. I'd love to see Finland get a goal here. They deserve it. They're really putting it all in. Go on, Glenn. Again. Fuck Campbell. off, ref. A referee. What's that for? Look at this lump, man. Look at the size. How is that a foul? Come oh, come on, referee. Are you having a lot? Even if they did it, you're from there. Yeah, true. Sigurdsson. No, he's, he's Icelandic. He's Icelandic. Anti Nemi. No, we already, already said him. They've had some decent keepers. Jack says Liverpool again. You know what I mean, they're going to have to get a box for you as well. Where every time now you listen, I'm making it relevant. Like a Liverpool player, we're watching you know, Finland. I'm talking about a Finnish great. Yeah, but the thing that you said about Sammy Ipia, you said that about six times since <laughs> the game started. <laughs> yeah, remember Sammy Ipia? He was a great player for Finland. Wasn't he? Do you know how many times you said? Tell you what, though, what a <laughs> signing, Rob. You can see, you did it again. How much did he cost? Two point five mil. Yeah, <laughs> bargain. From from Willem, I think they're called. Willem. Is it Willem? Yeah. And he was there for ten years. 250k a year, plus Champions League, League Cup, Cup. Cup. Yeah. Antonio Mogis. <laughs> yeah, unlimited talent, yeah, really. Antonio Mogis says uh, Valtteri Bottas. <laughs> Wrong sport. Oh, he's a ra racing driver, right? Yeah, yeah Formula, Formula One driver. driver. Yeah. Sorry's come on. Yeah, Finland is a tiny country, isn't it? What's smaller, Finland or Iceland? Iceland. I think Iceland's Pookie's got 220k come off. or something. Iceland's small, I think. Iceland's about half a million, isn't it? Eh? Yes, it's yeah, tiny. It's tiny. I, 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 thought thought it it very big. I thought it was about 250,000. You know all them Scandinavian countries? That's, that's right. where Lapland is, isn't it? Finland? Yeah, I've been yeah. there. We had this chat the yeah, other day. Chat last time. You, you I've been to Lapland. He's um, given me all the Lapland and he's given us all the, We heard about Hippia about 10 times <laughs> in the other game. But people were going, Lapland's not a real place. And no, it that was Pippa who was saying Lapland was real. Finland made it a real oh. place, mate, for the, for the money they charged, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Go on. Go on, son. Yeah. Um, junior Sheriff says, uh, oh, Alex, have you seen Trent Alexander-Arnold's new haircut? I have. Not a fan. What's he done? It's the Travis Scott Travis trim. Scott. It's the Travis Scott Travis trim. Scott, he's yeah, done like a Bamia. <laughs> bro, I'm not Trent a fan. Alexander I can know, you find bro. that for me? Yeah, bro. Jesus Christ, Trent Alexander-Arnold. <laughs> He's obviously he's got, he got injured he and then was like, do you know what, I'm bored as fuck, I'm going to get a haircut. Yeah, he's got Travis Scott as well, Yeah, man. Jesse Lingard. Has he posted it yet? Nah, uh, they offered Jesse him an extension today. Lingard staying at arm. Look, May night, yeah, it looks like it. Did do. <laughs> nah. It's not as bad as what Aubameyang is on. It suits him a bit more, but... Is it? Not too bad. I thought it'd be worse, not too bad. Oh, they've offered Lingard a new contract. That's probably so that they can sell him to sell you. Sell him, yeah. More for money. a load of money. If I was them, I'd turn it down. Yeah, look. I've got to give it to Lingard. He's too yeah, not bad. No, to be fair... I'm real. To be fair, I don't think it's bad. I'm real player. No, actually, not bad. Yeah, that's right. Actually, you know... It's a bit... A bad yeah. one was terrible. I was like, nah, man, nah, nah, nah. I like, Travis oh, Scott I love him, man, but well, no. The funny thing is, ever since he's done it, everyone else is doing it now. So yeah. set the trend. Set trend. Yeah. AS says it looks good on Trent. I, I agree. I think that looks good. I think, you know. Oh, Damn. <laughs> Me and Marnie. No, he's having Marnie he's, with a trend. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's having a... He's, That's a bit harsh. He's, uh, he's, he's been going to Turkey. Yeah, he's, he's some yeah, way he's through. Because you see little... Even still, though, <laughs> I think he should have been, like, getting his money back, though, bro. No, but you know, I think, it, I think he's smart in the way he's doing it because he's developing it. He's, he's not just it done stages, it all one time. Yeah, he's not just done it all one time. He's not just slapped a wig he's on. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something, though. I'll tell you something now. One of the best hair transplants I've ever seen was Andros Townsend. Andros Townsend yeah. You said wow. that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Google pictures of Andros. Yeah, because all, yeah, yeah. all his hair was falling out of the front, wasn't it? And this was like mummies now. Yeah. And now man's got the loof of Andros. <laughs> he's got an afro, he's got the kid I and play haircut going on. He's got the Lionel oh, Richie oh, trim now. Where'd you go? Yeah. Where'd you go, man? Unbelievable hair transplant. Oh, that's got a Florence done in 
Yeah, yeah. But he, he's smart though because it didn't just happen overnight. He's developed it in stages. Was it the ref? See, that's how you got. That's how you got to do it, isn't it? Was stages. it that ref who was who was bald, and then the next day he had hair like that, and everyone was like, <laughs> "Hey, on, he was bald last week." Yeah, you can't do it like that. Man. You got to like Rooney, in it. Rooney just all overnight. I was, mean, his. But he paid. He was one of the first to pay yeah. big. I, I, I think he's one. The tip on keeps falling. Around. I know. He looks like a balloon with a bit of Weetabix on the to top. To be fair, like people got to discover it anyway. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to look at Mane, like, because the, the real thing with his hairline was during lockdown, wasn't it, when they couldn't get the hair cut? Yeah, and he yeah. come back to, um, come back to Liverpool train, oh, and I yeah. thought, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, um... What about Shaqiri? You get a hair transplant? You heard Dan Shaqiri's had a good one. Shaqiri's had a hair transplant? He's had a good one. Yeah. Shakiri's had a really good one. But again, lockdown no, helped like, him. Um, lockdown helped him because no one saw his true. You, know, you, you guys were like. Yeah, Beckham's had one. Deli yeah. Ali's had one. Really? You yeah. guys are like. It was like a white guy, right? You can kind of sew in with your existing here. Whereas with us, it's a bit more difficult, man. You've got to start some gluing shit on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, because it, you know, like, you, like yours, if yours is thin in there, right? You could sort of weave in. Weave not like, in? Yeah, you know like women, they weave, like how the women, women do it, yeah, sort of yeah, weave yeah. in. You could weave in yeah. to your existing, couldn't you? Do you know what I think? You know but like with me, <laughs> oh, it's a chance for Russia. Their teeth done and you'd be standing in it. Yeah. In about 10 years time, most men will be doing it. Yeah. yeah. Every man. It's, I'll be honest with you, I'll do it. I, I lost my hair. I started losing my hair when I was about 20. And it, it wasn't nothing that, you know, that ever, it never appealed to me getting you know, hands because I thought to myself, if it goes, it goes. I shaved my head anyway, mm. and, and, I, and I always have. I thought, what am I going to just look? I've got to shave my head. And I'm going to look. I have a few more lines of hair there. So yeah. it's never something that's really appealed to me. And I, I, like getting older, you, you can get a bit self-conscious. Yeah. Like, le sorry, less self-conscious when you get older. But when you're younger, mm. it, it, you know, it can play on you a little bit more. But I used to think to myself, imagine if I went and had an air transplant. One day I'm, I'm, I'm walking around looking like Alan Shearer, the next day I'm walking in like, walking like Peter Stringfella. <laughs> and then, you know, no one's oh, ever going to be convinced that it was. But no, it never really appealed to me. Oh, it never, oh, it is a lump, bro. No. You think about it, women, they, you know, they do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Hair extension, wigs, breasts, yeah. bum. I'd face. never wear a syrup, I'll be honest. I mean, <laughs> no, I'd never. But I reckon in another 10 years time, that would be a standard procedure. Just like people going into <laughs> Oh, that was, like, that was, that was a big lump. Man, the, way, the, the way cosmetic surgery's going at the minute, boy, like there's no shame at the minute. You know what I mean? Some of them- We got Eric Ballion. Come out looking like, some, some of their lips look like balloons now, the, the, the stuff that they're doing. You know what I mean? Like, so, do you know what that is though? That's people like Kim Kardashian and that, that family on TV saying they haven't had any surgery. Oh no, this is all absolute bollocks. Mm -hmm. And these girls now, like I've got a young sister, uh, you know, these girls, these Oof. Kardashians, they're fucking poisoning the, the minds of these kids, you know, because they're telling you subconsciously, look at my lips, look how great they are. Look at me in this anti-suppressant lollipop. Mm. Do you think you want young girls to grow up to think, oh, I can't eat, I'll just have one of these lollipops. That'll make me nice and thin with a massive bum and big boobs like Kim. They're all fake. Everything, she, she's bought it all. But he, so it's a fake you lifestyle that they're all, trying to you sell. Bought it all, to you like bought impress it all. It goes through stages, doesn't it? Because if you look back to it, like. Are you, consuming? you look at girls no, now, man, it's all about that, the thick fires, the thick bum, and all of that sort of thing. 20 years ago, it was about being a size zero. You had yeah. to be yeah, skinny yeah, yeah. as skinny as you could Kate be. Moss. Yeah, yeah. Like, Remember, it was, does my bum look big enough? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. No, it's, does it look big enough? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Neverland says, uh, Robbie, I've waited for Ty uh, not to be here. Um, but is he like that when the camera is off? It yes. Trust me, one. Oh, he's exactly <laughs> the same. He's worse. Imagine Ty with Trent's haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, do you know what? I was talking about this the other day. I love that video with him when he'd done the date, man. Oh. And he yeah, yeah. pizza with a knife and <laughs> thought I was crying. <laughs> The guys, that, man, he's like, like that all the time, mate. I love Trust him, me. man. He's so Trust harmless. Do you so know what? I was saying about that time, right? The, <laughs> right, which he always tries to deny. Now you're here, so you can prove it, right? When you is me, a combination of me and you saved him. 
for getting his head knocked yes, off by yes. some West Ham fans. Yeah, yeah. Right, because he was going... He just wouldn't his, leave it. He would have going, no, West Ham, and we're invincible. Oh. <laughs> and that guy goes, Nick here, Robbie, tell him. Well, I've got to knock his fucking head off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, Nick, had to step in, yeah? A few times. Fucking <laughs> hell. The thing and is, he's, no, he's, he's a lovely to... guy. He's, 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 he's about eight stone wet, you know what I mean? Like, but he won't shut up. He don't back down. And like, he never backs down. I, I, I do respect that about him because he defends it's Arsenal. It's like fearless, isn't it? He'll, yeah, it's he pretty... defends them to the... He will not yeah, have yeah. a bad word said about that them. Awesome. He's a respectful guy. When he comes up to me, he's always got nice things to say about West Ham. If I turn around and go, they're terrible, Arsenal, he won't have it, man. He'll probably <laughs> front me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. Oh, big up Eric uh, Balian. He says, can you name Russians all-time greatest players? Russians? Yeah, name them. Andre Arshavin, Akinfeev. Yeah. Um, Akinfeev is a goalkeeper. They've got the yeah. goalie, isn't it? Who's the goalie? Akinfeev. Well, the one with a cap? He's the old one. He, the old-time. Oh, yeah, he was playing. Akinfeev was playing until he was about 40. Yeah, he was at the last World Cup. Um, ben Castle says, you heard Ben White bid rejected. Thoughts? 40 million, he ain't worth half of that English tax, I guess. Liverpool? Arsenal, apparently. You bid 40 mil for Ben White? Where are you what, getting all what, this dough what from? What the rumours are? I don't know. And we're bidding it on all the wrong players, what we don't even need. Yeah, but we've got Typical. <laughs> this thing about layaway, it's the same for every club, you know? Yeah. There's hardly any... This is, a, again, another one of these myths, right? There is hardly any club that buys a footballer for, say, 50 million and gives all of it up front. Yeah. It's always layaway. It's always every club structures, every single club. Jerkov, <coughs> Jerkov says MC he must have about six hundred caps. Yeah, he's he's a, got he was in the last he's game. Still here. He's still in this tournament. He got injured in that first game. I'm not sure if he's completely out. But Jerkov. I can't really think of many uh, attackers, though. Um, mm. yeah. Time's running out now for Finland. There's only about five minutes left. Ukrainian, I think. Ukrainian, yeah. yeah. Rebrov's from the Ukraine. And Shevchenko, he's Ukrainian yeah. as well. He's the manager of Ukraine. Yep. Manager now, yeah. Um, so Daddy says, the only goalkeeper to win the Ballon d'Or, Dorlev Yashin. Yashin. Was That's old school, yeah, Yashin. Yeah. Yeah. What year was that? The Ballon d'Or win? Oh, I don't know. 50s or 60s or something. Was it? Fucking yeah. hell. Pavlyuchenko. Pa- that was it. Pavlyuchenko. Pavlyuchenko. That, that was the name Memory. I was trying yeah. to figure out earlier. Pavlyuchenko. Good, decent spell at Tottenham. It's all right. Pavlyuchenko, to be fair. A bit like a poor man's Torres. Mm. Bishra Heap. Bishra Deep Sahar says, Ibrahimi Kanate to Liverpool. Thoughts? It's, it's happened. He's signed. Yeah, thoughts. Well, I've already, ans- thoughts. I've already answered this one, Robbie, yeah, about 10 minutes ago. But What has that done for your boy Nat Phillips, though? You might not get a look well, in that. Wallpaper Nat, as in him, that, this beautiful yeah. man there. Um, yeah, that probably, that's probably... He, well, be realistically, season, Nat was our, at the start of the season, let me think, this season. So Virgil, Joe, Matip, um, who else do we have? He was probably our fifth or sixth choice at the start of the season, yet he played about 20 games. Naturally, he'll go back into being fifth, sixth choice because now we've got Why? Gomez back, Van Dijk back, Konate back. And I think Nat, choice, uh, Nat Phillips 100% deserves to, one, stay at Liverpool, but two, be our fourth choice, I'd say. Is he back yet, Van Dijk? He's, uh, not, he's not playing in this tournament. No, right? no, he's, no, he's no. not in this tournament. But is he, is he is back training? Or? Training, training. Him and Joe. I do think for the first time ever, we'll be able to play our strongest team, fingers crossed, in the first game of the season. It'll be the first ever time we play Van Dijk, Thiago, these kind of guys, Jota, all in the same team. We've never had that luxury. Mm. Um, Alex says, lads... I do. Says, lads, uh, Wales versus Turkey predictions. I think Turkey. That's the next game coming up. Turkey. That Turkey? is a big game, that, for Turkey. What do you reckon? If they lose that Turkey, they're gone. But if Wales lose it, hmm? they're gone. No, they've got they? one point. That was it. Yeah, they yeah, got a point, didn't they? Drew Switzerland. Yeah, I'm going with Turkey, man. I'm going to be watching it with Turkey. Turkish, sorry. And he's taught me, Hade Turkey, which means come <laughs> on Turkey. So. 
Don't know any Welsh. Big up Andromeda one trying to bait me. You're not gonna. No. No. Fair enough. Because he's trying to bait me. I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I fancy Turkey next game and in Italy tonight. I think that'd be okay, in Italy and Switzerland. Yeah. <sighs> Covering all of those games here on the Don Robbie channel. Don't forget. All right. Can I just oh. say as well, I was chatting to Jason before we went on air. Mm. And I'm not just saying it because I'm on this set now. Poor cross. We're still alive, oh, though. He's oh, still alive. Oh, There's a chance for top. Oh, 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 he should have yes. done better there. Big chance. Man. He should have done better there. Look, he got right underneath it. He's got right underneath it here. He's got. A he leapt. Do you know what? He connected that. with it on the way down. That is his problem. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't judge it properly. Poor that, man. But I was saying to Jason before, mm. and I said, again, not just because I'm on this channel right now, but there's no other, from what I've seen and, and listened to and watched, there's no other channel doing. Euro 2020 like this with all the with games. the set. No, not not just oh, with all the, the set. You're doing all the games, but no mm. one's doing it with the guests you've got, the set you've got, mm. the the quality of production. No one's doing it like you. So oh, big up, up, man. Come yeah, on, big you. up, big up, big up. All yeah. 51 games live right here on the live, Don Robbie channel. Live. Charlie says uh, Robbie thoughts on the Arsenal bid for Ben White. <sighs> you need him though. No, we don't. You need a centre back. We've got William Saliba. We sent out on loan. We had a brilliant. I think they, I think they need a midfield. He was yeah, exactly. Go and get Basuma. What are we going to get Ben White for? Basuma. Agreed. Get what but we need got, first. Arsenal Thomas always Party. do this. Arsenal, you got Thomas Part is a to box to box. Xhaka. Xhaka's probably going to go. Thomas Part is a box to box midfielder. You need a guy who's going to sit. We've needed that for about the last ten years. Go Since and get Basuma. We don't. We've got Saliba. We've got Gabriel. We've got Holding, we've got Pablo Murray, we've got um, Mavreponos to come back off alone as well. That's five centre-halves. That's not what we need right now. If, go and get Ben White later on then. Yeah, if you get, your, if you get your target. But priorities first. Yeah. And that's what I was saying. I was doing my show. I'm starting to get mad now. But I was doing, <laughs> I was doing um, we were doing like going through the fixture list this morning. I said, when you look at our, when you look at our start to the season, yeah, no. we've got Brentford, Irish. Chelsea and Man City. That means we need to get players in early so they can hit the ground running so that we have a good pre-season so we don't get... We could possibly come out of those first three games with the, a point. Yeah, and then the pressure's right uh, on exactly. his so all of a sudden. Get what we need, man. Um, Jono says, thoughts on Madison's Instagram story. I haven't seen it. Don't know I know what Arsenal will be linked with Madison. Don't know what he said. He's a, he's and a good uh, Sadali so says, also have the Egyptian yeah, King El Nini. Huh? A lot of trouble, Madison. I like Madison. Yeah, he yeah, is. Uh, uh, he missed the game against West Ham because he, uh, they went out partying. They went out partying, yeah. yeah. I think he's... Yeah, but, yeah, but and then, Paul and then the next back day, in the day, mate. They was, I don't know, man. He's a bit out playing Let me golf. Let his Instagram. Whatever. I like Madison, though. He good was player, unlucky really, yeah. not to get a call up, but there was just too I think, many I think, I think it was the injuries. Yeah. You know? Again, if somebody like Madison's playing for Arsenal, though, then his profile goes right up, innit? What do yeah, you think about this game? Finland been unlucky? I think Finland... I, feel I don't think they've been unlucky. Finland. Poor, 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 yeah. poor in the final third. Yeah, I'd yeah. say just about a point. You can't say they've been unlucky. They've had, they've, they just ain't got the quality up front, have they? But they've given everything. And they're still in it. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've got three points, it's remember, from that first game. They've got three points from the first game. Three minutes to go. Do you know what? When that Finland goal went in in three minutes, I'm thinking, what a game we've got in our hands here. It has failed to deliver in that sense yeah, it's because quiet. it was such a big start. The goal was taken away. And now it's so tense. Russia may be getting a second. Oof. Oof. That could have went anywhere. It's one of them ones He's where, where the camera angles there. It looks yeah, like it yeah. goes one way and it's, it's actually going the other way. Oh, Shaughnessy. I'd love to know where in <laughs> Finland he's from with that name. Cork. Daniel O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the, uh, there's a guy I played for Chile in the Copper America. Yes. Did you see that? He's Born from Stoke. Stoke on Trent. Yeah. yeah. Captain in Chile at the fucking. Yeah, yeah. I forget his name. I it's called, forget. it begins with an L, I think. Yeah. He's at, basically he was born in Stoke and he's standing there next to Messi, like marking Messi. But he's like, <laughs> he looks hot. He looks like a bloke that's born in Stoke-on-Trent. 
Charles! Oh, oh, it's a chance. Oh, big missed miss. It. Do you know what? Russia, they're going to rue their chances they've missed in this for goal difference purposes. If they could have won this 3 0, they put themselves bang on zero again, goal difference. They lost 3 0 in the last game, let's yes. not forget. But These chances that they keep missing here, this could make them pay. Yeah, yeah. But it's really odd like to see someone like Bawley start because he looks like a he, he looks a bit like an Englishman to be yeah. quite honest with you. Like he's got pale <laughs> complexion. But do you remember like there has been some odd ones, isn't there? Do you remember Jamie Bircham playing for Trinidad? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. QPR player. Yeah. yeah I think it was, Trinidad was it Mark Bircham played for Canada? Possibly. Yeah, he was at Possibly, QPR. Yeah. He ended up doing a stint for Canada yeah, one International. Of them, yeah. Oh Lord! <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of the player. I think oh Tony. Uh, right, this could be the last break Go for Go on, lad. Finland. It's a good break for. It's a a corner. Good, there's nobody no. in there. He's having to do it all on his own Go now. On, he's, he's, done done, well. he's done very well. well yeah. He's done very oh. well, but it just didn't fall. Come on. And that's, uh, that's what that. is a minute, a minute left. There's a minute left. There's a minute left of the game, but that's probably it. You see the Russians are slowing the game down now. Oh. I thought he'd give it away then, but he didn't. It's been a big uh, effort by Finland, but it's not looking like they're going to get over the line. They're really stretched now as well. So the Russians score. are in. Oh, if a better ball poor, there. Robbie. A better ball there and he would have been in. Another 30 seconds. What can they do? Very poor ball. Yeah, I've got to say, the quality of guess that you've had, Robbie, has been brilliant. Yeah, it's some good guess. I've, really, I've been really enjoying the stream. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Well, could be a chance. Oh, Ooh. No. That death should be that's, the last kick now. It. I think that's it. I think that's Game it now. Or is it's an injury. Oh, it's an injury. Is that a free kick? Or has he just stopped it because they had an injury? Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's an elbow to the yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. elbow, yeah. Momentum. Oh, nothing in there, I don't think. Oh, that was a bit nasty, that. Feel look, that one now. Look at this geezer. Yeah. Size of him. Not him. So the game <coughs> has stopped while they look at this injury. A uh, Russian player took a bit of a hit to the face. Is there any claret there? He's saying he got an elbow. Bit of a local derby, this is also, I said, you know, Finland right next door to Russia. Um, but yeah, it does look like Russia have got the job done. Up he comes. <laughs> He's got a smelling salt out. Got smelling salt out. That'll wake you up, mate. I've never smelt smelling salt. Oh, I remember one time he knock Henri, you Henri got knocked in the mm. head or something and they gave him salts. And I remember watching it on TV and he was going, Ooh. Yeah, it's rough, man. We got Sean Mitchie, he says, another good game, another good watch along. Thank you very much. Um, Anna says, Robbie, get these two back on again. Love these streams. Robbie Fowler thing. Listen, I'm enjoying them. And uh, I like them. Mike Mikhail says, Finland and Russia was crazy history. Winter war and all that. Um, Repair says, it, uh, Spurs fan this. here, but I love Nicky. Big up. No, thank you. That's got to be game over, surely. Russia. It's got to be game over. Russia in possession. They just see it out now. Yeah, yeah the ball's gone out of play. <laughs> just not, just, just a bit toothless, I think. Yeah. That's, that's the problem. Oh, the rest of the rest. And that's it. That's it. It is finished. Massive, massive win for Russia. Russia have won the game by one goal to nil. Uh, Finland pushed them all the way. Uh, Finland had a goal disallowed in the first half, which would have put them one nil up. But the Russians, you've got to say, they won it with an absolutely brilliant goal that yeah. deserves to win any game. It was a fantastic goal, curled into the, uh, to the top corner. So um, well done to uh, Russia. Russia won, Finland nil, and Russia now are back in this competition. Um, well, if, you look at the, if you look at it, they run three points. Um, Play two either. games, of course. Finland, two games, three points. And of course, um, Belgium on three points, they played one game, they play Switzerland tonight.
bad um, result for Denmark. Look at Denmark. Denmark, sorry, but check out this goal. Great oh, goal. Oh, what an unbelievable goal. The way he just switched it from one foot to the other. Bang. Yeah, I love that. He's like, look how many defenders are around him. Look how many white it's shirts. Very Iron Robin esque. That, yeah, that's yeah. a brilliant goal. You know who scores, scores a lot of goals out? Like Maris. Yeah, true. Isn't it? A lot of left That little switch on that side, Yeah, don't know, fantastic goal. Um, Nicky, what did you make of the game? It was a good game, I thought. Mm. I thought it was an interesting game. I, I, I fought it, but that's what I said. A Russia win opens up that group massively. I, especially yeah. Denmark. You don't know what's going to happen with Denmark tonight. Denmark yeah. will come out and put mm. the performance into their lives. They win that tonight. This. this mm. It's all, it's all on the last game, isn't it? So, yeah, it was a good game of football. It was a good game of football. I enjoyed that. Yep. And uh, you, um, GT? Um, make it again? again, I think it should have been one-on-one reflection. I think a draw would have been the fairer result. Um, they put their chances away, though. This, yeah, I mean, they, they didn't. You know, and, and, and if you don't hit the bar and the post today, you're not putting them chances away. You don't deserve it. However, what I would say, this is the worst result for Denmark. They would have yeah. been yeah. hoping that... Russia were just gone then tonight and you didn't have to worry about them because mm. if that happened maybe uh, Denmark could have strolled into third position really but now it's, it's all to play for and uh, Denmark now have to win they oh, have, they, to, they have win to win tonight. both if, games I'd say if now. Denmark don't if Denmark don't win tonight yeah. actually I think their game's tomorrow Denmark it's not, it's not tonight I think it is tomorrow yeah yes. tomorrow if Denmark don't win tomorrow is this Mute Baku this is they're more or less out aren't they wow. yeah look at that they're more or less out they were forced to play they should not be yeah, they should never have been asked no. to play that game, but, you know. So Denmark, they, you know, that's a must-win game for them now, and, um, you know, it's going to be a really tough game for them. But, um, listen, I want to thank you, Nicky. Oh, no problem. Thanks very much to your boss. What's his name again, your boss? Al Saeed. Big up Al Saeed, man, for the hand sanitizer bro. and everything. Respect for that. Um, but thanks, Nicky. When are you back on? You're for the England game, are you? Yeah, I'm back on Monday, I believe. Maybe about Friday, England game. Oh, Friday, yeah, yeah. No, 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 not this Friday, not the Scotland one. I'm here for the final one. Maybe about for the final one? Yeah. And when are you back? In about half an hour. It's the uh, (laughs) Turkey-Wales game. All right, well, I'll see you soon. (laughs) And make sure you guys are back in about half an hour because we are going to be back. This is the big one now. Wales taking on Turkey. Big game for Wales. Um, They've got a point, so if they could get a win in this game, um, it'd be a really good look for Wales. And you could see them progress. Remember, they got to the semi-finals the last time the Euros were on. Did their country um, proud. Turkey, though, is a must-win game for Turkey. They cannot afford to lose this game. Um, we're going to be joined by Turkish here. Turkish. All right, so make sure you check that out. Um, but coming up very, very soon. And don't forget to subscribe here to the Don Robbie channel. Like the video as well. Keep those comments coming in. We really, really appreciate that. Um, and we'll see you very, very soon for the next game. Wales versus Turkey in Baku. It's going to be big.